Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with some Terraria. Uh, and we're just about ready to break into hard mode. Um, I could have spent a little bit more time doing some nice builds and stuff, but I don't want to wait too much longer. Um, we've got... Let's see. We've killed the Eye of Cthulhu, Worm, Queen Bee, Slime, uh, Skeletron, of course. I haven't actually got everything out of the dungeon. I don't think I got the um, Cobalt Shield. Um, not that I've been using it lately. Too many other accessories that I value a little bit higher. Um, could probably stand to explore more of the jungle. I actually don't have a... What is it called? Uh, Staff of Regrowth, I think. The one that gives you more potion ingredients when you harvest them. Uh, more importantly, I also haven't um, cut off like the corruption from, for example, spreading to this ocean here. So probably should do that first. Because this whole thing is going to get corrupted in like two seconds. Um, I might even... This is just stone. It's not corrupted just yet. So I might even go grab some... What is it called? Uh, purification powder? Come to think of it, I think I have some here. Whoops. Alright. And I'll purify over to, like, here. That way we've got a forest surface biome that we can teleport to and fish really easily. Um, and I'll, like... Well, that sand goes down pretty far. Um... Sand will spread the corruption. I just want to dig... Let's get a... Let's get ourselves a mining potion. Here we go. Um, I just want to dig enough that we're going to keep the ocean pristine here. Uh, let me just put that back. This also speeds up mining. But first we go purification, purification, purification. Hopefully we don't miss a little bit of corrupt grass down here. You're annoying. Could you please stop? Thank you. Let's get some light. Does the purification clear this stuff? No, it doesn't. We've uh, we've had a lot of Eater of Souls spawn when we go over here and during the Blood Moon. A lot. Don't really care about that one damage. I think that's six tiles, so it won't jump to here. Alright, how about... How about we start here? And I'll just dig down, hopefully, far enough to not hit the sand. Um, make a gap so that the corruption doesn't spread there. First we go seafood dinner, then mining potion. Oh, and then this thing that I stole from one of my other saves. Uh, it's basically the everything... Uh, the everything accessory for building and stuff. It's not too bad of a speed. Oh, and we found some corruption in here. That's ungood. 
Hmm. I can't exactly just reveal all the corruption. I need a better way. I, I've got a star fury, but that's only gonna that's only gonna work if if there's something for it to hit or, or a gap somewhere to reveal this. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should just start, like, over here instead. How long would it take to dig a grid of tunnels? Uh, a little while with pre hard mode stuff. Definitely. Whiskers? Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need, um... I need a spell that's better for revealing this stuff. If I had the flamethrower, for example... If, if I could get some enemies to walk around here being on fire, the flame light effects would drip down that way. Looks like there's no corruption over here, though. This might just do. And a bit further. Okay, uh, it might be the case that this isn't deep enough to stop seeing sand, but we'll try about here. The fact that we're still hearing corruption music tells me that we're really close to the corruption. If it stops about now... Uh-oh. But I'm seeing, but but I can see stone everywhere. I don't see any corrupt stone from here. Hmm. There's something over there. It's a blink root. Bonus if we find some uh, some caverns that give us some stuff that we haven't found yet. So I think we need six tiles minimum to prevent the corruption from spreading. Uh, I would like to make it a bit more just to be safe. Are we under the ocean yet? Yeah, okay. With any luck... Um, with any luck we won't be running into any of the sand that belongs to the ocean. Oh, I haven't killed the, uh, what is it called? I haven't killed deer clops yet, which is about the only boss that, the, on, the only pre-hard mode boss that's like actually obnoxiously difficult. Uh, even with the best stuff that we can get before hard mode. I think summoner and a bunch of imps might be a good way to go. Damage reduction wouldn't be that great, but I wouldn't have to concentrate on attacking deer clops. So I don't have to concentrate on when it's able to be hit. I can just dodge in and out of range. Uh, and let the imps throw fireballs. We're actually getting close. Uh, what just... Uh-oh. What did I press? Um, help? 
Oh no. Oh no. I think I hit the screenshot key and I don't know what it is. Uh, as in the, like, get rid of the HUD key. Oh no. Um, I might have to look this up real quick. Toggle HUD. My HUD is gone. Help me please solved. Press F11. How on earth would I have accidentally pressed F11? Hold on. Settings. Controls. Is there like another key bound to do the same thing? Not that I can see. I have no idea. I, 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 I can't imagine I could have accidentally hit F11. That was weird. Time to hit up Google? Yeah. And this isn't even my last keyboard that had a bunch of macros on the side. Where that would have been a lot more understandable. Cool, we didn't... Uh, let's try Star Fury right here. Oh. Oh, hello. Those goblin scouts are a bit persistent. Should I, I... I should probably look up how many tiles we allegedly need to remove to prevent the corruption from spreading. Because if it's only six and I go to the trouble of making like 12, um, it's kind of a bit of a waste of time. This isn't the strongest pickaxe before hard mode, but I like the Nightmare pickaxe better for... for hitting up... Uh, for, for cleaning up things like dirt. It's faster. The swing speed is a lot faster. Time is over. Sad. Oh, it's night time. What are we killing over here? Zombies, don't care. If it's uh, another goblin scout, I want to pick up the um, tattered cloth so we can summon a goblin. I should actually make sure I have a spawning item or three so that we can summon the goblin army early in, um, in hard mode because the shadow flame knife can drop from the goblin sorcerer probably easily one of the strongest early accessible weapons in hard mode. That was another enemy picking up coins on the left. He's gaining on us. Not if Vampire Frog has anything to say about it. to run out of the mining potion. Uh, I might just take this moment to check. Wow, the uh, the mining speed buff from Seafood Dinner is actually like 
probably about equal to the mining potion, it feels like. Uh, let me just check. Evil biome. Spread. Tiles. Uh, I'm not seeing any reference to exactly how many tiles of gap that we need to prevent the spread. Hmm, I'll bet on six, but I'll check on it frequently early on. That's what they're there for. And I'll dig down here first so that we can see exactly what we're aiming for. stone to dig next time. Up we go. I was doing that too fast. Get that rhythm down. How rude. Get out of my sight. Oh my goodness. It's raining zombies. whatever fell over here earlier. Probably just coins. Rare drops are possible. I don't know what a zombie would have dropped that I would need though. Alright, let's put this back. And quick stack all the things. Um, I had just about finished building the storage area for our class-based stuff, but I got a bit tired of it. It takes a lot of time to build things, uh, to do nice builds in this game. It's not like there's blueprints. So yeah, I don't think I will go to the trouble of completely uh, finishing this build before we go to hard mode. I think we've waited long enough. I might get one more fishing quest or something though. This can go in here as well. Um, white torch can go in here. And let's grab one more fishing quest. Or maybe two since it's almost 4.30 a.m. Caverns? Quite like this dome by the way, uh, even if I say so. Much cooler than the pirate ship that I've built a couple of times. I mean, there's room for improvement with some of the textures, but I like how the general look of it turned out. 
Uh, this is red team brick, but with illuminate, uh, illuminate paint. Didn't really come out the way I wanted. Um, I'm gonna try gem spark blocks, which is the, the bright, uh, the, the light source blocks that you saw up there earlier. Um, cover the, uh, cover the elevator with that. Why am I here? Oh, fishing. Joke. Need some bait. Oh, speaking of bait. Can we get that worm? Too late. I think I missed it. Uh, let's see. Just some regular bait. Shouldn't take long. What do we got? One minute and... 20 seconds to get our quest fish. And then we'll hit up maybe one more quest. And then rush down to get ready for Wall of Flesh. I want to fight the Wall of Flesh uh, during the day. So that we can drop uh, guide voodoo dolls immediately. So we can fight it again. The first kill of Wall of Flesh is by far the hardest. Because you don't have any of the items that Wall of Flesh drops. There we go. And we get a guide voodoo doll, oddly enough. Speak of the devil. And 15 seconds left. Perfect. I'll drop this weather radio uh, in here. And we'll grab another quest. Surface forest. Uh, that is at the other ocean that we just prepared. If we stand right about here, that should count as the forest, I think. It's not counting as corruption. I'm hearing corruption music, actually. There we go. Move over one tile. This water... Uh... This fishing spot's kind of small, though. We're not going to get maximum fishing powder power out of this, I suspect. Would you be persuaded to stop? I think I've only... Yep, there it is. I think I've only got a couple of guide voodoo dolls, actually. I haven't spent a whole lot of time in the underworld. Bait and potions, nothing too serious there. Alright, let's go stack this stuff away. Um, we'll get some seafood dinners out of the common specular fish. This is for selling. I'll hold on to that. There should be one of these in here. Quick stack. And this goes back in here. Okay. I haven't actually decided on what build I was going to use to kill the Wall of Flesh. I think Summoner with Imp Spam would probably be for the best. Um, since the fireballs pierce through everything. Let's put our mage armor here. And... All of that looks pretty good. Oh, I need some summoning potions as well. How do we make those again? I don't make them very often. It'll give us plus one minion. I think the max we can get is five. 
for hard mode. Very, very gated lardfish. Yeah. I think we can only get those from fishing underground, not honey, in the jungle. Uh, so I don't tend to do that. I don't, I don't tend to incidentally do that. I don't need too many of them. Would this already count? That would be very convenient. Let's grab some bait. The cheap stuff. Swap in the fishing gear. That's best. Variegated lardfish. Very handy. You could scarcely ask for a safer spot to fish for the underground jungle. Um, I might just combine these two. Uh, no, this this one over here is already going to be... Didn't I just... No, oh, never mind. I thought I had a fish. Uh, this is probably easily going to be 300 tiles, so maximum fishing power. We'll get, like, five of these for now. Whoops. And casually five gold. Frog leg. I haven't actually fished up one of these yet. I don't think I'll use it, though. Alright, there's our fish. And I want to keep one of them, just so that we can automatically stack them later on. Um, summoning potion, we get five. Fantastic. May as well use the mana buffs. We've got Flame Lash. We're not doing a class-specific run. Oh, let's not be wearing our... Fishing gear. Get rid of the vampire frog for now. And we'll go nothing but imps. In fact, I'll put this here. So we can have four of them. Wait. Yeah, we can have four without the potion. This goes in here. We can already make a frog flipper. I'll hold on to that for now. So we have Hunter Potion. Don't really need that for the Wall of Flesh. Uh, food. Regen. Defense. Defense. Damage. Light. Movement. Magic. Magic Regen. And Summoning. Um, time to bust out the occasional potions as well. Knockback isn't... I was going to say knockback's not that good, but knockback will actually work on the hungry, the little fleshy things that follow us. Heart reach is definitely useful. Uh, Inferno is useful. We don't need a uh, water walking potion because we've got the terrace bark boots. Don't need archery, we don't have a bow. Um, what about these ones? Dangerous. Oh, life force, definitely. I don't think we need the grav potion for this one. Obsidian skin probably isn't needed with Terra Spark boots, but we've got so many of them. Why make it more dangerous? And Thorn's potion, definitely. Okay, I think that is just about going to cover it. Um, yeah, the only thing is I don't want to waste Hunter Potions. Although Shark Fins are a lot easier to get now that we've got uh, 
this little underground, uh, this little undersea dome base right here. They tend to show up sometimes when I'm just talking to the fisherman, uh, talking to the angler. So I get the occasional shark's, uh, shark fin without even looking for it. Alright. Let's get ready, I suppose. Um... I should pro I I've got one more summoning station. I should probably take that with me. So we can refresh that downstairs. Here it is. And same goes for cake. Let's steal this one. We're not building an arena. That's the whole point of the challenge. But we can do little things like this. Uh, alternatively, I could use the Star Cannon. I mean, Wall of Flesh is pretty much the thing to use the Star Cannon on. You've saved up a bunch of Fallen Stars, uh, the piercing damage is very good, and the Star Cannon won't be good for much longer after that. Yeah, I'll I'll hold on to this as like a last resort kind of thing. But I won't wear like ranger armor or anything. I do have some spare ammo boxes. We we'll use that too. And I guess I, I I never end up using the demon scythe. Let's just put it away. If I can remember where I'm storing these things. I'm definitely going to move this chest, so I'll just put that there for now. Okay, um, I think that's everything, except for the guide voodoo dolls. I'm surprised we only have two, but what are you going to do? I definitely like the lighting effect better from the gem spark blocks. Uh, Let's talk to the paint, uh, painter for a second. Let's get some... I don't know. Black. Red. Purple paint. I just want to see what this looks like. I won't put much effort into it right now. Oh. It has no effect at all. Black has an effect, but not the effect I'm looking for. Hmm. Maybe there is a color that would make this a little bit less obnoxiously bright for the block itself, but we could still have the nice lighting. I'll look into that later. Um, I find it easier just to sell paintbrush rather than like worrying about keeping it somewhere. All right, down we go. And the fiery, the fiery moss is taking over everything at this little NPC house I made. It's gonna crawl all the way over here. I think it's actually gonna cover all of it. That might actually look kind of cool. All right, let's move on. Although before we do. It's not every day we get to harvest our fire blossoms. Let's put those back. And quick stack. And I'll just shove this in here for the moment. Alright, so I'm going to go from right to left, I think no particular reason, just cause. I guess we'll be picking up a lot of fire blossom along the way. Up 
be bothered stopping for all of it though. As long as we have plenty. Um, let's go through here. Fresh bewitched. Otherwise, I'll have to go back to base. I do have a potion of return, so it won't have to cost us time, just a little resource. Well, not that little of a resource. It's a pain to fish up the requirement, or the resources to make potion of return. I did find the demon conch. Uh, I was a little disappointed to find out that when you use it, it actually always sends you to the middle of the underground, uh, the underworld. I was hoping I could use the uh, magic conch to go to the ocean and then use the demon conch to teleport down to the, the very edge. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Uh, but alas, here we are with a little bit of travel time before we can get ready. I guess I should have equipped... Yeah, I'm going to burn a potion of return to do this. I'll equip the whip. Since I'm using summoner. Um, should probably equip the mana. No, nah, the sting does the stinger does this improve the damage of our minions? I think it probably does. Getting a little heal every time we take damage isn't bad either. Uh, Damsel, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, and how was the rest of your stream today? Let me give you a little shout out. How are you all doing? We're just we're at good timing actually. We're just about to fight the wall of flesh. Happens. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It was solid. I lost a rocket. Like an entire rocket? Or did it crash and you lost a bunch of stuff? How did how did you Oh, we're at the end. Uh alright, don't need the map. I should have done left to right so that the minimap isn't in the way. Um, Alright, we've got a million buff potions ready to go. Uh, I need a little flat surface here. Here we go. Refresh that. Refresh that. Refresh that. All that. And I think we're ready. Yes. Let's go. Did an oopsie and then couldn't find the crash. Renaming landing pads. Oh no. So it was lost in the bureaucracy? Alright. Sorry guide, but... Sacrifices must be made. Oh, I forgot to swap out the spinal tap. Whoops. And I also need one more minion. There we go. Uh, you know what? Let's just not even mess around here. 
Star Cannon it is. Why risk it? The hardest wall of flash fight is the first one. Although maybe I should be chipping it down before I use the star cannon. Wait till it enrages. Whatever. We're going through the ammo relatively slowly. Ow. Dodge to the right there. Ow. Almost there, kind of. It's getting faster. Let's stay further away. I'm not too worried about the laser damage, actually. We're, we're tanking it pretty easily. Yeah, that was... That was surprisingly easy. Um, let's see if we can do it again before our buffs run out. I'll get this out of the way before it causes problems. What time of day is it? 11.25 p.m.? Oh no. Uh, so the guide isn't going to respawn for like... 8 minutes or so. So we're not going to be able to use our buff potions. Um, I guess we may as well go back. And my inventory is way too full. Let's get this out of the way. Um, I think most of these bonus potions I can just quick stack. And then we got probably my favorite wall of flesh weapon, uh, the laser rifle. It's just really good, solid, piercing, fast-moving, accurate, um, decent damage. It's good for quite a while. True monsters of Terraria? When do you fight owls? I don't fight owls because... Hold on. Because I'm carrying uh, this thing. Can't kill the bunny. I can't kill the Firefly either, so I can't waste a shot on it and I can't accidentally lose it when I want to harvest it. Demon Heart, let's go. More accessory slots. Um, I guess I could go for the Mana Star thing again. Oh, that's not here. Oh no, where is it? Oh no, I should have finished my builds for inventory management before I activated all of this. Um, I think it's over here. Yeah, there we go. That'll do for now. Warrior Emblem, not going to be equipping that just yet. I'll put it here. Hello, Wraith. Why do I have no minions following me? right now. Like, literally zero. Uh, and we have a Pwning Hammer. I'll chuck that in the piggy bank for when we need to break um, uh, when we need to break some demon altars. I wish I had that thing before. Which thing's that? Oh yeah, 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 the uh, Guide to Critter Companionship. It does cost an inventory slot, but... It, it's actually... Like, I started using it because I was using the Shield of Cthulhu, and I'd always, like, try and dodge to the left or right just to get started with some movement, and then sm slam into a bunny. Um, that I didn't want to kill. We'd be stopped dead in our tracks by that. 
Um, where are my hunter potions? I'll be needing those. Can't do another wall of flesh until the guide respawns. What's the first thing I should be doing? Well, I should definitely check... It might be a little bit too soon, but I should definitely check that the corruption isn't spreading across that gap that we made. These things are tanky. Alright, let's ignore them for now. Look at that map. Uh, what about it in particular? Oh, I should have used the conch. Well, we're here anyway. Uh, oh, this isn't... Yeah, okay. It's going to spread to here. Maybe that's okay. Actually, it would be a good opportunity... If I cut this here, we can... Ow, 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 ow. Early hard mode is dangerous. Don't get complacent. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So my hope is... Oh, there's already... There's already corrupt stone there. That was pointless. Alright, let's leave. Let's pay a visit to the angler. And come to think of it, uh, I wanted to check if we can fish up hard mode metals before breaking any demon altars. Underground and caverns. Uh, let's see. Down here. Underwater house? Underwater house. Uh, we'll have another look at it in a minute when I get this quest fish. Ooh, this is hello. That's good. That's very good, actually. Ah, GG, bad with you. Okay, wasn't expecting to see that yet. That's pretty dangerous. And the lighting in here is terrible. Um, okay. Buff? That's good. That, that helps. Alright. We're about to get something good, as long as we don't die. I almost walked straight into it, just casually getting into position for fishing. Did it just... Did it actually just fall too far away and despawn? I don't think this is going to be our cozy fishing spot anymore. Can we go over here? Maybe. I need some bait. And fishing stuff. Frismite. That's good. I thought we had to fish that up from the surface, Hallow. Oh, 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 169 damage arrow. Let's not... Let's not maintain line of sight to that. This game is miles beyond what I ever did. This is fun. Yeah, Terraria is huge. Um, what The game's, what, 11 years old now or something? Um, and they've added a lot of stuff and all of it for free. It's not like you need a DLC or something. Um, a long time ago, the end of the game, like, the hardest boss was, what, Skeletron? And then there's the dungeon. Uh, now... Now the final boss is Cthulhu's brother. And if you're really a masochist, there is a boss that one-shots you if you fight it during the day. And it's basically like bullet hell. But there's a drop that you can only get by killing it that way. I'm thinking some vampire frogs might be a bit better than these uh, fireballs that don't go in the don't go in the water. But then maybe I don't want to kill these actually because they're preventing stuff that could actually threaten us from spawning.
We're still waiting on our quest fish. It did say underground and caverns, right? Maybe I misread it. Alright, let's pay the angler another visit and I'll show you chaos fish. Uh, I'll show you the uh, underwater base in more detail. Fish go in here. So we got the ocean pylon and the entrance here. We've got, what are they called, toll gate or something? Uh, those kinds of doors. We've got an airlock with a pumping system, a one second timer here. We just link a wire with an inlet and an outlet is up the top. Um, once I kill the twins, I think it is, I'll be able to put a like f liquid sensor here instead so I don't have to remember to turn this on. Uh, and yeah, we've got like the best curve that I was able to make with glass in this game. And a couple of NPC homes, and that's basically it. Underground and caverns. Love it. Thank you. One of the nice bonuses of this little thing compared to like the pirate ship that I sometimes make is sharks show up when you're not even looking for them. Normally it's pretty difficult to get uh, as many shark fins as you want, but sometimes sometimes when you're just minding their own biz uh, your own business, a, a shark will say hello. Let's put our seeds in here. Get rid of that. The only limits one ima one's imagination. Yeah, I'm trying to get a bit better at building nice spaces. Particularly, I like the sort of... This isn't like the most beautiful home base you're ever going to see, but it's a nice mix of form and function. Shark, indeed. Um, Alright, we've still got most of the day, actually, to finish this quest. Why don't we try over here? Might be a bit safer for fishing. The guide has arrived. We can kill the wall of flesh again. Grab some crystal shards. Morpheus out. Thank you very much for the seven months. Very much appreciated, thank you. And good morning to you. Oh, we need that. Um, but we need those dangerous enemies to not kill us more. I'll, I'll get those later. Let's just move over here for now. Um, bait. Let's go some of the more expensive bait. And we'll use a fishing potion. I want to get this done as quickly as possible. Could you die, please? Good grief, this doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, we're out. Uh, I thought I had... I, I thought I had the Phoenix Blaster. Now I'm out of mana. At least getting hit stops those things from moving. Thank you. Thank you imps. Uh, let's see, we've got our bait, master bait, fantastic, fishing potion. All right, if this doesn't get us our quest fish, I don't know what will. And let's swap out our imps for vampire frogs. Might be a bit more effective.
What kind of bait? Master bait. The master of bait. The best bait there is. What, what other kind would there be? Ow. I didn't see that. Uh, this is going to get uncomfortable. My vampire frogs are dealing 1 to 3 damage to that slime. I don't think summoner is the way to go right now. It's harder to see when we need to pull the fish in. Because we're dodging all of this. I, I might just give up on the fishing quest for the moment. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's not die this way. That would be embarrassing. Alright. Uh, Crystal Shard goes in potion ingredients because... Uh, I think it's only for the big healing potions, actually. Where's our guide? Not here. Why is the nurse... Oh, no. Why is the nurse here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Our precious desert outpost has been hit by the corruption. Um... And there's... <laughs> the nurse and the arms dealer have just walked away from it. And now they're down here. <laughs> Where's the guide? Is that the fishing spot? I mean, the, the underwater... Yeah, super mana potion as well. Alright, cool. Um, so crystal shard goes in here. I need the Clentaminator to deal with this. I can try... Uh, I'm just traveling there might be dangerous. Um, I can try using the Purification Powder, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. I don't think we're going to be able to remove enough of the Corruption for that to be able to count as an NPC home again. Speaking of which, I haven't secured this area from the spreading hallow on the right, corruption on the left. We're not... it doesn't look like we've got a good, um... It looks like we've been pretty unlucky with the shape of this world with, like, natural barriers to the spreading corruption. This is the most complex fishing minigame I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, perhaps. Boopy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think there's any point killing mummies unless we're in a corrupt or hollowed biome. So they drop the shards. Also, get ready for some really cool world gen right about here. Not here. Here. We've got a tree holding up the desert, as you do. Uh, that's sounding a bit dangerous. Okay, ow, ow, ow. It's going to be difficult to find the time to use the purification powder. Also, I feel like I should really switch to mage, actually. Um, let's burn another potion of return, I guess. The damage from the minions is just not cutting it at all. Um, so we're gonna put this here. For now. I need more chests. Uh. It'll do for now. Media armor. First things first, we need to get some proper armor. Oh, that's right. I wanted to test if it's possible to fish up um, hard mode ores 
already. But first... Purification, purification. I don't think this is going to be enough, and even if it would, the corruption would just spread back again. But I didn't know they could actually be forced out of living somewhere by the spreading corruption. That is unfortunate. Do we have another desert biome? We do, actually. This one might be safe. Unfortunate that I... After making this lovely house here, we're going to have to abandon it. Hopefully we can at least buy some time. So we can put NPCs back where they should be. What is that thing? Dark mummy. Okay, we actually need to kill those. And we already got the blindfold. That's something. I see a vulture. That implies a neutral... Neutral biome, I think. At least a little bit. I think we're just gonna have to move the move the homes for these two. This housing is corrupted. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Alright, let's make... Ow! Rude. Uh, let's go home first, actually, and then I'll make some pl uh, some NPC shacks over in the desert over here. They're going to be moving out of their... I don't want to say mansion, but they're going to be moving out of their relatively nice NPC homes into... Uh, the slums. Let's go. The zombies have all got an upgrade since we cracked into hard mode. Cracked into? Whatever. Cracti. Let's take it. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so Cactus goes here. Quit harassing me. Thank you. We're just going to throw this together. Seriously, could you stop? Shield of Cthulhu to the rescue, I can just slam right into it, and I don't take a hit. Um, let's heal a bit. Let's take our enemies seriously. Um, I actually want to... Let's get rid of our summons. And if I keep killing whatever's up here, we're going to end up with a bunch of enemies stuck down here. And there's a limit to how many will be spawned at once. And we'll be able to actually build this. Cactus wall. How many hours to get to this point? Uh, a few. I've been taking my time because I've been doing some nice builds and stuff. And a lot of, like, preparation. Um... Also, farming some really difficult to get items, which are not strictly necessary. Spe well, usually not necessary. The, the challenge is I'm not building giant arenas to fight the bosses, so something like Terra Spark Boots is arguably necessary. 
Um, but you don't have to spend as much time as I do farming certain items. Um, where did my... Oh, I used it all. Let's change that back to cactus. I think I'm going to run out of... We're going to have to use some wood, I guess. I made this a bit bigger than it needed to be. Only a little bit bigger, unfortunate. Actually, no, it's not going to be enough. Could you stop spawning wraiths? Like, how many wraiths do you need, honestly? Alright, um, we need a chair in here. We need a chair and table up here. Light source. Door. And... Probably it would work without filling in this wall, but we're gonna be better than that. This housing is suitable. Uh, nurse, arms dealer, and since it's night time, they'll teleport here as soon as they as, as soon as we go off screen from their homes. And just to save time, I'm gonna buy. Oh, I can't actually put down the second pylon, so that was a waste. Hmm. Well, it's easy to get back here. The hard part is actually traveling back over here. I guess I'll sell this. I'd want the cool items for sure. Yeah, definitely. Terra Spark boots are just the best quality of life item. Um, Built-in water walking. Seven seconds immunity to lava. Even when you do take damage from lava, it massively reduces it. And of course, fast... Uh, Running, uh, fast running, flight, don't break ice, it's all good. Alright, let's go pick up that, um, pylon, I suppose. And the painter's just chilling here, meanwhile. Wait, why is the painter here? Oh no. That means this pylon's busted as well. It's all falling apart. Oops. Just like my Factorio base? Oh no. The best laid plans. Yeah, look how quickly the corruption is spreading back after I used the powder. It would have been useless. Alright, so we need this. Um, I guess I should take these with me. All of this ammo is pretty replaceable. I'll just leave this here for now. We'll come back here when we have the Clentaminator. It's going to be difficult to keep the sand in place. Something is burning over here. Because uh, if you dig under it, it falls. But I would like to restore this as not corrupt. some point. On a scale of 1 to 10, how vicious are the owls in this game? Uh, the owls are secretly the moon lord. Coming from an owl exterminator. Alright. 
Desert Pylon. I'm coming to visit the arms dealer whenever I use the pylon, so I'll probably put it next to him. Uh, and bonus, we get a desert and a forest biome fishing spot as well. Okay. Alternatively, I could make the... I could make it hallow. That would probably be the way to go. At the old desert base. Alright, back we go. Um, I don't actually have anywhere that I'm quick stacking these. It was one owl. <laughs> oh. Uh, we should definitely. The moment we catch it raining, we need to go to the snow biome. Corruption is going to spread into it. Hello is going to spread into it. Or maybe not. Big trees have a tendency to stop the spread. Um, the jungle... The jungle might get wrecked. I might have... Oh, I already did. I, I was going to put the glowing mushroom biome surface base over here at first, and then I changed my mind. So this might actually stop the corruption from spreading. Very handy. Also, while we're at it, speaking of biome, um, I think if we make this a graveyard biome, the Dryad will sell us something that can let us make uh, Crimson in this corruption world. Uh, what about this lot? Looks like they're not going to get corruption troubles for a while. Um, if I come back here at night, I can get the easiest to get wings for hard mode. Alternatively... Oh, that's right, I forgot. I already got the rare harpy feather drop. Where is it? Here it is. Giant harpy feather. So we just need some souls of light. Um, and to get that... I was going to say we just need to go over here, but I can't. I'll have to do it the hard way. The, the trouble is this mushroom house right here. The corruption must have spread, and this is now considered corrupted. If I build a mushroom house over here, that should get it working again. It just doesn't have the two mushrooms on top of the dungeon aesthetic that I wanted. How do you stop the corruption? Um, so basically, it spreads much, much faster. Well, I guess it doesn't spread at all before hard mode, does it? Or does it? No, it does, just not as fast. Um... Uh, once you get into hard mode, it spreads faster until you beat Plantera. It doesn't stop it from spreading, it just slows it down again. Um, but there's a few things you can do. You can create... It only spreads across certain tiles. So, for example, it doesn't spread across wood. It does spread across grass, but not uh, dirt. It does spread across stone. Same applies for the hallow. If you separate it by, I think, six tiles, it won't spread. Um, or if you put a bunch of, like, stone bricks or something, um, it won't spread either. So, if I put the work in beforehand, like doing this kind of thing all over the place, uh, we could have prevented these disasters, but I got lazy. So currently we're just waiting for... Uh, 
sky dragon thing to spawn. Usually it obliges much sooner than this. We need to kill one or two to get enough souls of light to make the nice wings. Yeah, it's quite unusual for it to take this long. Maybe I'm not high enough. I think I am high enough, though. Oh, that sounded like... Yep, yep, yep. The fact that I... That multi-hit sound. Any kind of worm enemy like this. There's a bunch of weapons that you'll get multiple hits. Um, and I could tell just from the sound of it taking damage we found one. Harpy complicates things a little bit. It's quite... quite the thing to kill when we've only got free hard mode gear. Oh, 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 I messed up. I'm going to get two shot by this thing if I'm not careful. Uh, let's heal. I wasn't expecting it to take this much damage. Uh, I guess I did play... Expert as opposed to Master last time. There we go. Do we get enough souls? Uh, not even close. We need 20. That's probably the smallest amount of souls we could have got in one go. He's killing birds? Someone be angry? These are harpies, though. They're like demon birds. Oh, there's a peace candle here. I forgot. Um, that lowers the spawn rate of enemies. I can turn it off just by right-clicking. Actually, it's probably wise to have that active as soon as the enemy shows up. If I go over here, it's not active. I should have got the Meteor Staff as well. Um, I could have had that prepared before we got into hard mode. Chicken nuggies. This is taking a surprisingly long time. I think you can only have one of them spawned at once. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen two at a time. Up we go to space. Unlucky, indeed. Does your character persist across multiple playthroughs? Uh, if you want. Your character is... If I want to, I can, like, save exit from here and just have this one visit a, a world that was, like, created by a different character. Um, and in Terraria, you don't level up or anything apart from max health and max mana. Uh, everything else is actually just equipment. So, this right here is the stuff that takes the effort to get. 
Um, so you're not locking yourself into any particular class or anything either. You can switch whenever you want. This is really, really un- oh, there we go. I was going to say really, really unusual that it would take this long for two of these things to spawn. I should use the laser more. As soon as it recharges my mana, I'll switch to the space, uh, the laser rifle. Space gun is free with this armor set. That's why I'm using it so much. Even though it's quite weak. If I can hit it head on like this, we're going to get by far the most damage. I think it's three, if not four, hits that you can get with one shot from the laser. I like the mana system in this, in this game, whereby the more mana you have, the faster it regens. So you're actually kind of incentivized to manage it a bit better. Alright, there's our souls. And we got 15. Not that it matters, as long as we have 20. Uh, so giant harpy feather plus souls plus... Uh, what crafting station do we need? Guide! Mithril Anvil? Oh no. Okay, I guess we need some Mithril. Um, but first... I would like to test whether it's possible to get the hard mode ores without breaking demon altars. Oh wow, have we been slowly draining the ocean? I thought... I thought it got refilled... like every time we load the map. It's fine, there's um... there's an item that actually gives us infinite water. So we can fix this, but that's surprising. All right, let's get some fishing going. All of it, please. Freight potion, master bait, and go. We're slowly draining the ocean. <laughs> yeah, too real. Well, not quite, but you know. Crates go burn. Uh, we got a couple of mithril crates already. That doesn't mean there's necessarily mithril in them. It's just the tier of what we can expect uh, to come out of this. I'm going to farm up a bunch of crates and then I'll drink a luck potion before I open them. Did the dolphin just say a really bad word? I hope not. You've heard the... Uh, the owls say who to trait. I know there's owls and ducks have a rare bark where they just say quack, for example. I don't know if the dolphins do that. This is this area is nice and safe as well. For relative values of safety. If I stand on the ocean, it's going to be a bit easier to deal with, actually. Hands free combat. Ooh, CSAC crate. It's 
a reference to a SpongeBob episode? Oh. Okay. A little bit after my time. Uh oh, Sheep say met. Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, but it wouldn't surprise me if dolphins occasionally just said something because of that. But I think it's just owls and uh, ducks, as far as I know. I don't really want to waste the rest of the fishing potion. Should probably drink another crate. The owls are sentient? Uh, yes. Beware. Alright, once this crate potion runs out, we'll go back and open our prizes. Also, let's get some vamp frogs. This is pretty effective. Titanium crate. Nice. Means we can get titanium armor in this world. I think. I'm pretty sure the the types of metal reflect what you can get in the world. I mean, there are ways to get the other three. There's like cobalt, mithril. Adamantite for tiers 1, 2, 3, and the alternate ones are Palladium, I think, Oricalcum, and Titanium, uh, and it's random which ones you get on each world. Please don't encourage Goofy. Why not? Seems good. Alright, two more minutes of fishing, and we'll open our loot. And with any luck, we'll be able to get a uh, mithril anvil without actually digging for it. I didn't press the issue? And yes, that swordfish is a weapon that can be used. Although it's a bit behind the curve right now, to say the least. Look at that 1 to 2 damage. Get wrecked possessed armor. Yeah, I've seen the clip. Uh, crate potion actually ran out. I'm not too worried about two minutes of this, so let's get going. Alright. Quick stack. Crates are also stored. Here? Question mark? Where are the crates? Wait, what? I definitely saw crates get quick stacked. Oh, here they are. Is that all of them? And I think I have a luck push. Yeah, here we go. Oh, another meteor. Alright, what do we get? Uh, 
I don't know yet. Tungsten. Well, that was crap. That's the equivalent of silver. That was terrible. Okay, how about this? Crap. I think... Oh, wait. Is that what I think it is? Cobalt ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get hard mode ores this way without even having broken any, um, without having broken any demon altars. Oh, this is a weapon. Whoops. Well, that's an improvement for now. That's actually going to be a me our melee weapon. Um, but I need to sort out my inventory here. Uh, let's put away the spinal tap. Since I'm not exactly playing Summoner. Uh, we actually... Oh, we did get Mithril. We got a Mithril bars even. We don't have to smelt them. And an enchanted sundial. Uh, you can go... Well, let's get our Mithril anvil first. Score. This is exactly what I had in mind. Now we can make our wings. And... Uh, stack this stuff over here. Make some room in inventory. Hard mode ores go in this chest. Um, I guess the souls are going to go in here as well. I think I want to put the Enchanted Sundial in the middle of this. Very nice. We can skip a day with that once a week. Uh, and what else do we have here? Way too many Reaver Sharks. We don't need an Iron Anvil anymore. We don't need this anymore. Uh, another Anchor? Don't need tin, palladium. Palladium's like the equivalent of co cobalt, right? Um, don't need these. Ah! Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I see how it is. This thing takes a lot of damage. How do you like anchor? We gotta hit this switch real quick. Too slow, but it's gonna keep the next one out. Okay. Back to inventory management. Um, that's a lot of potions. Let's quick, that, quick stack those away. Fantastic. Let's just go loot all quick stack, loot all quick stack. Uh, wall of flesh relic? Oh yeah, that was, that's been there a while. I need to make a proper trophy room. Chaos fish. I think those are only good for making random teleportation potions. Uh, pink jellyfish is only good for selling. Demonite brick, I don't know how that got in there. Palladium bar. Alright, we finally emptied out the void bag. Don't need shell piles. I don't think I can even sell that, right? No, I can't. Demonite brick can go in building materials. I've seen the clip. Not that you are new, but why god... How could I not have seen the clip? People spam it sometimes. 
with the redeem. Um, I've seen your chat use that just to say, "Senpai noticed chat." Where are we? What was I putting here? This is usually utility trap kind of thingy. Uh, but I don't know where it went. Sometimes Twitch on iPad freezes? Oh. So that's what you're using for like your second screen for chat? I don't... Oh, this is actually kind of alarming. I don't know where... Oh, here it is. Explosive trap. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage at this point, but we can use it to... Yeah, that's a good example. We can use this as a vision thing when we're exploring. Alright, let's go kill the Wall of Flesh again. I haven't got a mage damage item. Um, we've still got 302 Fallen Stars. I don't know that I really needed all of those buff potions last time. I'm gonna risk... Oh, that's what we need as a mage. We need mana potions. I haven't actually made any yet because things haven't been that serious. Mana potions... Uh, we can probably go for more than that. Can we make better mana potions than this at this point? Oh, and I can bring the guide back here. That would probably be a good idea. Uh, no, no, we can't. All right, but we've got this thing that automatically consumes mana pots. Only downside is when we do consume a mana potion, there's a damage debuff for magic damage. Um, but against a boss, it makes total sense. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Also, I didn't actually compare... I, I still have a pair of the old wings. So this is how much we were able to fly a minute ago. Uh, we go all the way to 284 for our height from 180. So 104. Uh, this first pair of wings gets us up to 412. That's a good start. First pair of hard mode wings. It's actually better than the, I think it's one or two platinum that it costs to get the wings from the voodoo doctor at night. The witch doctor. Alright, uh, I think we'll stick with that for now. So now we have to... I should have taken note of where I killed the wall of flesh, but judging by... Judging by these marks that you can see on the map where there was more lighting... Uh, I'm pretty sure we killed the wall of flesh about here. So we used... Actually, actually, most of the room that we had before we were going to run into uh, the Demon City. So I think we'd better, I think we'd better make sure we go all the way. Actually, instead of all the way to the right, I'm going to go all the way to the left. That way, it's not going to. The mini map is not going to be where the target is. Also kind of forgot that I could have teleported down here, but oh well. What are you going to do? I forgot a few things, actually. I could use Potion of Return to go get them. 
I might have to. Feels so much nicer having this much light power already. The guide was slain? What? Why was the guide slain? I think I know what just happened. I think... I think I have a clue of what just happened. I don't know if we'll find any evidence. But I think the guide just tried to walk from here to the middle of the map and drowned. Yeah, so we're not fighting Wall of Flesh until he respawns. It is 10.30 a.m., so probably I shouldn't have... Prob yeah, I should have just kept going. Derp. All right, let's make sure he's in the right spot at least. There we go. Uh, this way. Giant bat, go away. Silly guide. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, I should probably re-roll these things. How much gold do I have? I need... Well, first of all, I want to kill this. I want the Cursed Flame from one of these things. Ow. Uh, it actually already died. Luckily, it died somewhere where I can reach the Cursed Flame. Uh, and come to think of it... Maybe I should go Ranger. Whatever. I used Summoner last time. Oh, hello. I'm not even going to rescue the Tax Collector. Why bother? It's not that much gold that he gives us. One more NPC house, and I always just forget to check on him. There are ways to make gold pretty quick. Events like the, uh, what is it called? The solar eclipse? You tend to find that you've gained quite a bit after that. Here's the jungle. Ooh, I still haven't opened all of the shadow chests. Um, I don't know that we're going to find anything that we don't already have, though, at this point. Slice of hell cake. I don't really like the pets. I find them distracting. I actually need to dig through this. much further. We're like more than halfway there now. Especially considering we don't have buildings in the way. Or jungle. Oops. I'm not used to being able to fly that much yet.
Are we there yet? Pretty much. And this is the part where I use the potion of return because I don't have anything I need actually. stuff. What are you doing here? Okay, fine, as long as you haven't swapped. Godly Helving Bow. No thanks. Quick stack of all this stuff. Uh, I should probably make an ammo res- I, I should have the first time make an ammo reservation potion if we're going to use the star cannon. Easy enough to fish up what we need for that. It's quite common. I think it's called double cod. Yep, that's it. In fact, we, that's that'll do. Uh, ammo reservation potion. Fantastic. First flame. Does that go in here? Uh, no, it does not. We need the wizard to get the spell tomes um, to craft this. I don't remember what the prerequisites for the wizard are. Alright, I'll just hold on to that. Don't know where to put it right now. How about in here? Hellfire arrows I was stacking over here, but I can't teleport there now. Because of the corruption. I'll just shove them in here for now. Oh, and we got another shadow chest. Alright, so here's our buffs. Here, I forgot again the... Uh, ow. I'm gonna have to waste another one of these. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go. Guide Voodoo Doll. I only remember using one of them earlier, though, so shouldn't I have another one here somewhere? No, I think I quick stacked it. Alright. Let's go. Buff. Actually, let's use this until things get a bit more hectic. Most important thing is not to get caught on the terrain somewhere. Second most important thing is not to take damage. Third most important thing is to aim for the eyes. The guide has arrived already. He's keen to get sacrificed again. Uh, this seems considerably less effective than the summons. Might even run out of room at this rate. Alright, let's get serious. I can't see where the eyes are. We, we could miss with the stars as well. I've got to be a bit careful with that. Better to hit the mouth than to miss a shot.
Uh, do you die, please? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Not like this, not like this. Oh. 20, 26 health. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go home. Actually, let me dig this up. I'm sure nothing bad will happen while we're just digging this demonite brick. How far did we go? About the same. Alright, back we go. Holy shit. How many mana potions would you like to drink? Yes. Yeah, I don't want to have to... Oh, we got the goat skull. Uh, this thing ends up going pretty fast. That's kind of neat. Um, I will keep the slime mount. Um, because it's very, very handy in combat against certain bosses. But, I don't know, maybe I'll find room for this in my inventory. I doubt it. And we got the sorcerer emblem. Perfect. Oh my god, horsey. Yes, indeed. What am I swapping this out for? Probably the Stinger Necklace. So we still have regen. Still got the shield. Mana. Damage. Movement, movement, movement. Seems good. And we just gained 15% uh, damage from magic stuff. Now we spend way too much money making it better. Actually, it's quite cheap to reforge this. I think I want plus damage. I'll take plus four defense. That's not bad. We definitely want plus four damage or defense on this. Fantastic. Lucky roll. How much does it cost to reforge this? Uh... I don't really want to spend too much for plus one from this. Yeah, this will do for now. When you play off stream, do you still commentate? Uh, no, no, I don't. I know some people do. Um, what am I selling here? Oh. I just realized I didn't have... Oh, wait, we've been using Resto Potions. Never mind. Yeah, sell that. Wall of Flesh Mask. Very attractive. Uh, we don't need another Pwn Hammer. Don't need another one of those. I'm not selling the Goat Skull. We'll put that in the Piggy Bank. Thought you might, since this is... Steady stream. Uh, nope. This is just how I just how I commentate when I stream. Uh, I guess movement, utility, defense, melee range, summon. I guess we can make this one like just generic damage. I need to clear out my inventory here. Um, how many stars do I have left? I still have 156. We could definitely do that one more time. I still have buffs as well. But I returned without using a potion of return. I have to run back down there again. What else do I want from the Wall of Flesh? There's the Clockwork Assault Rifle, which is just like a decent bullet gun. It's not great, but it's a good start. Hold up. Did I just kill the Wall of Flesh wearing Angler gear? That doesn't help. That doesn't make it easier to kill the Wall of Flesh. Okay, let's uh... I think for the mo- like there's other class stuff that I want from the Wall of Flesh, but we can save it until it's easier to kill the wall. Um, I think I want to go after some other stuff now. Did we get... We did not. So, my plan this time 
for early hard mode armor progression is frozen armor. We need to wait till it rains, go to the snow biome, and then kill three, um, what are they called? Ice golems, I think. Um, but we also need titanium, I think. Think to use that. So I guess we gotta get to mining. Um, let's find somewhere to put our mana potions. Stack this away. And that seems fine for now. Is this empty? It is not. Oh, we got the breaker blade as well. That's actually a really nice early hard mode weapon. Um, you could do better with the damage, but more to the point, it has absolutely ridiculous knockback. And we got a large one. That'll do. So, even though we can't kill our enemies very quickly, uh, we can keep them away from us, which is kind of more important. Do you start on an easier level, then bring your character into a harder mode? Uh, no, so the boss that you just saw me kill um, unlocks hard mode, basically. And the world gets a lot more threatening, and there's a lot more powerful stuff to be acquired. I wonder if there's any reason to go into the dungeon at this point. What was I going to do? Actually, don't remember. Oh, the timing. I think this thing gets a few Im immunity frames. So the frog is actually protecting it, kind of. That's not great. Let's grab some mushrooms. And I think I have mud in this chest. I do. Ow. Ow. Um, and the thing I want to try here is... If I just spread the mushroom biome over this way a bit. Make a mushroom house here. Maybe we can fix our pylon that way. Is that four tiles? It is. How tall did I make that? Uh, nine inclusive? I think this is it. One more. One less, rather. And some platforms. I think that's right. Six inclusive. Six inclusive. Is this right? Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then... Six. And I've run out of mushrooms. I'm downloading this on my Steam Deck as we speak. I'm inspired. Nice. Uh, glad I could be of help in that way. Alright, 24 more mushrooms here. This tree's gonna have to go. Uh, what was it? Six tiles? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. 
And then... Don't quite have enough for a workbench. Wait, what? We still don't have enough for a workbench? Well, I guess we'll have to come back. No, we can get some more mushrooms here. If I'd gone to the trouble of bringing more glowing mushrooms down this way, uh, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Okay. Mushroom workbench. Couple of doors. And mushroom walls. We're probably not going to have enough. Close. But we're gonna have to go back more. Or just wait for it to grow, which is kind of the same thing. Let's explore the dungeon a bit. I don't actually remember how threatening the dungeon is right after unlocking hard mode, but we haven't like broken any demon altars or anything. Ow. Ow. Let's not underestimate it, though. Light, movement, defense, damage, magic, and hunter potion. There's actually a couple of things I didn't get from the dungeon yet, so should probably get that done. Um, I don't think we have any keys. Aquaceptor would be good to have. There's actually a couple of chests right here we haven't opened. Um, so we either need a lucky drop to get a disposable golden key, or we need a rare dungeon slime, or we need it from like a wooden chest or something, or a pot. Oh, there's one of those slimes. Don't let it get too far off screen. Yeah, these are. this is actually one of the safest places in the world right now. Um, because it's still all pre hard mode stuff. There's the thing that we haven't got from the dungeon yet. I think that's actually checked off all of our boxes. Um, but we may as well get the rest. Let's make some room in our inventory. I'm a little scared using the quick stack. Uh, like shift click in this game because other games have taught me to press control click but that puts things in your trash and as soon as you put another thing in your trash it gets it destroys the last thing um, so I could just muscle memory my way to rapidly destroying a bunch of stuff Oh, wizard. There we go. Fantastic. Give me that ice rod. And give me a couple of spell tomes at least. Give me more just in case. It, it looks like I'm broke now. Give me better mana potions. Uh, you can have these. And I guess I'll continue doing dungeon things for now. But that means we can actually craft some decent spells quite soon. 
I've deleted so many things like that. Worst thing is when you don't know what you destroyed. Yeah, definitely. Jim Dow Jim Dog knows. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We get another cobalt shield. So there were two chests right next to each other here. With the one thing I'm pretty sure that I didn't get from the dungeon before. The Mura Summer. Don't really care about that right now. We've got at least two. Let me just get this stashed away. Oh, there's two of them. I wish there was a quicker way to shove things into the void bag from a chest. Quick stack. Make a little more room in our inventory. So let's see. I got a couple of handguns, a couple of cobalt shields, uh, at least two magic missiles. What is that? Nothing. But we've got flame lash, so magic missile is kind of redundant. Ow. Uh, we got more than enough water candles. Turns out you can actually craft those. I don't know if you're always able to do that. Also, speaking of occasional potions that are good here, let's do Danger Sense. Ow. Ow. Been down this way, actually. Nope, not over here. The wizard has arrived. I know, I already rescued him. That just means he's moved in somewhere. Now I have to make a nice wizard tower for him. I know exactly what I want to do with that. I did it last time. No notes. Perfect. Perfect wizard house. Take that. I hate these bricks. I hate how inconsistent they are with breaking them. And how there's always some left over. What's this? Queen statue. We can actually summon all of the female NPCs to wherever we are with that. If we want to summon the males, we need the king statue. Uh, that's a bit tight. Oh. Let's do the honey thing. Get a little regen buff. Uh, that is one of the biome chests. And that is another bewitching table. What do we have here? Blue moon. Spelunking potions are always welcome. And let's mark this on the map. I can't actually... There's actually a wall in the way. Um, you know what? We're digging through this. Oh, I can't dig through with this thing. Well. The DPS on this sword is actually terrible. The knockback is great, though. Another handgun. How full are we? Pretty not full, actually. Also, let's get some magic buff. Oh, we can summon Skeletron Prime now. Not that we're ready to do that. Ice Rod, 
Uh, goes in the utility slot. Very, very nice weapon, this, actually. Its DPS isn't that bad, but more to the point, it puts barriers in in between you and the enemy. Uh, and you can also just use it for infinite flight. Oh, and here's the hallowed chest as well. And another one of these. Not that we need one. Ah, that was close. Important to get rid of the water candles, they increase enemy spawn rates. Um, we really don't want those lying around when we come back here, when the dungeon is a lot more dangerous. Alright, can we get through here now? Fantastic. And this is the desert biome chest, I believe. Alright, I think that is about enough dungeoneering for the moment. Stack this stuff away. This can go here. And we need to sort this out. Uh, shields go... Well, actually, there's only one upgrade path for these shields, at least at first. We need an obsidian skull. And then combine it with that. We get obsidian shield. Obsidian shield becomes ink shield eventually. Alright, so defense stuff goes in here. I used to always carry one of these because of the knockback immunity, but I don't know, other items tempt me for the accessory slots. Makes me want to say just don't get hit lol. Caught in ocean. I think we can arrange that. Let's get some bait and stuff. Oh, I forgot to put this on so we don't get the broken fishing line. And we get a titanium crate. What the? Why did I just fall? And there's our quest fish. I don't have room in my inventory right now. There we go. Uh, why is the wizard here getting ready to drown? Because he moved in here. Okay. Does he like living here? I dislike the ocean. Yeah, I kind of figured. Well, I didn't figure that much, but... I think he likes the hallow. Put him in the hallow with the party girl, and they're both very happy. Where have we got hallow? Uh, I'm thinking I should make some hallow over here before the corruption spreads all the way to our main base. Also, we would have both a corruption and hallowed desert right next to each other, which would be very convenient. Uh, we've got hallow over here already. But it's not very far away. I kind of want, if I can, I want the pylons to be, you know, somewhat evenly spread out. But yeah, I need to stack this stuff. Tally counter goes in here. 
um, sell this crap. Fruit is just a nuisance. You have to, it, it rarely drops, you need a bunch of it to make anything useful, but useful is debatable. Actually, let me put in at least one chest per class here. Okay, banners we stash in here. Why are there magic missiles in here? So I'm gonna go grab some pearlstone brick, uh, stone rather, just pearlstone. And same, uh, just like with corrupt, uh, like ebon stone or with any kind of tile that will spread corruption. Uh, you can put it down and it'll spread the hallow. And we're going to use that as a bulwark against the corruption. Summoning stuff. Uh, where did I put that bloody tear? And no, I wasn't Mildly cursing. It's literally called a bloody tear. It's uh, used to summon the blood moon. I don't know where it is. Um, I guess I'll make these chests. How about these ones? It can be for summoning items. Uh, we need a bookcase as well to make our spells. Let's put that in here for now. Crystal ball. Actually, since it ca since it doubles as a buff station, I'll put it here. Stack, stack, stack. And without further ado... Oh, didn't we find Hallow up here? Let's just fall. What should my first world be and how large? Uh, that's pretty much personal preference. I find the... Medium is tolerable, but I, I find the small worlds just kind of, like, bad. Um, you're gonna... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That was surprisingly dangerous. Um, yeah. uh, the larger the world you uh, you pick, the easier a time you're going to have, like, finding all of the items, if that's what you want to do. Without having to go into other worlds to do it. There are certain items that you'll be lucky if it's even possible to get on your world unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, generally, casual near death, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I was still burning when I used the honey as well. Oh, it's because I was wearing fishing gear again. Whoops. Yeah, that, that doesn't help too much. Alright, I, I literally just wanted to come down here to get some pearlstone. Like this. That's all I wanted. I'll take the uh, crystal shards though. And what is that? It is a crystal shard. Some of these things that look like crystal shards are actually... I think that's one over there. No? Uh, there's an item that summons the Queen Slime. It looks very similar to a Crystal Shard. That's what I'm looking for here. Hopefully. Um, our Diamond Tree Farm is rather hostile now. It's kind of scary. But we got what we came for. We're going to run over to... about here. And we're just going to put some pearl sand on uh, pearl stone on the ground. 
Um, and that's going to spread the hallow to the sand, which is going to stop the corruption from spreading. NPCs, uh, the hallow is like more dangerous than the forest, but the NPCs don't hate the hallow. Um, they will actually live in the hallow if necessary. Alright, so right about hit the rates, get out of here. There's a couple of pearl stone here. Maybe maybe if we drop it here we can block the corruption. It's actually not it looks like it's not spreading across this, but I well, I wouldn't count on it. Let's try and Head it off. I'd be very surprised if, what is this, three tiles is enough to prevent it from spreading. We do need dark shards. I can make a nice shotgun if I get it. I forget how many dark shards. It's probably just one. We just need. Uh, dark mummy, and then it's not that likely that it'll drop, but it's not too hard to find. We got hard vitamins. Dark shard, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, let's clear this out and get out of here. Or maybe just get out of here. But there's a dark mummy, I want the shard. It didn't drop. Alright, let's leave. Oh wow, it, that laser thing. Uh, those like literally four blocks that we put down had already started spawning some hallow based enemies. All right, Dark Shard. We need two of them, and ten souls of night, and a shotgun. I believe the arms dealer sells the shotgun at night, which it technically still is, just barely. That was lucky. All right, we need one more Dark Shard, and we need to go down here somewhere to kill the dark type of enemies in... Well, it's actually not the enemy type. Um, if you're in the corrupt biome, sufficiently deep underground, like the desert here, um, that's going to be super dangerous, though, the desert underground. Uh, here we go. This is corrupt. Wait, that's corrupt. Is it going to spread to our homes here? Hope not. Let's be a bit more careful this time. I uh, don't really need to use the magic potions. That's kind of scary. And we also want the drop from this thing. Um, yeah, so any enemy that you kill in this underground uh, corrupt biome has a chance to drop Soul of Night. We need ten of those to make a decent shotgun for the early hard mode. Space, space Gun costs zero is actually surprisingly good considering how tanky everything is right now. Ow, 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 ow. Getting stuff to die in the lava is actually very helpful to get us these souls. Especially considering we have Terra Spark Boots, giving us the 7 seconds of lava immunity. Oh, 
are we up to? Three, four. This is actually a really good spot. Pretty safe. And we got a mechanical worm. We can now summon the destroyer whenever we want. I actually wanted to try killing Duke Fisheron before I kill any of the mechanical bosses. Um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, to say the least. We're going to have to farm up some certain gear before that's a possibility. My idea is to start with um, Frost Armor. Then go after the Queen Bee. Uh, not Queen Bee. Queen Slime. Uh, with the Queen Slime we get Crystal Assassin Armor, which is like hybrid mage and ranged. Uh, and it also gives us a dash, so we can have one more accessory slot and not use the Shield of Cthulhu. weapons. There's a couple of mage weapons that uh, might do the job that we can already get. That's going to be dangerous. How many souls have we got? Still only five. Traveling merchant has arrived. Gotta pay him a visit. Oh, there's granite over here. I really need more damage. To spend almost all of my mana killing one of these things with the laser rifle. That's suboptimal. We just we still need four more souls. Oh that's that's gonna be scary. Uh we don't really have enough room to fight this, but if we can pull it off, uh, there's some really good gear we potentially get. This is pretty dangerous. Ow. Let's, let's not mess around. Full buffs. Ow, ow, no, we're gonna have to leave. That was a waste. Yeah, I shouldn't have uh, stuck around for that. Maybe I could have found somewhere a bit more spacious. Like if I could pull it to the underground, uh, underworld. Not really. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Can I combine any of this yet? Nope. First flames go over here. Shards can go here, I guess. Souls. I'll keep the shotgun here since it's going to be combined with this dark shard. Vitamins? What are vitamins combined with? I'm pretty sure we do have the armor polish. We do not. Okay. Mummy pants sell for nothing. I uh, don't care about holding onto some corrupt torches. We've got the torch god thing, so regular torches turn into whatever biome. Very handy. Let's just put this here for now. 
All right, quick stack old things. Pick this up. Summoning items go uh, here. Let's just mark it. And I should really be saving my ammo. Don't need granite. We can spawn that whenever we want. Bone welder. Um, I should have, like, a specific... Oh, here's the bloody tier. That's much more visible. To show that these are... This is where the summoning items go. Okay. Stack this down here. Is this empty? Yes, it is. What else are we doing? We're looking for four more... Four more Souls of Night. And also, I should probably... I should probably just make sure this is going to be Hallow. Um, I could get some Hallow from this again. Hopefully don't die this time. Or almost die. That's all we need. Just put this down like here and this whole area is going to be hollow sooner or later before the corruption spreads over here in any case. I should definitely make this bit a bit more accessible to get through. I'm not going down there unless there's a soul. Nope. Oh, that's a bit awkward. This little curve thing throws us down into the lava. There's assault. Free to go. If I wait for that little sound, it means we're back to full mana. We regen mana faster the more mana we've got. So this is actually the optimal DPS without using a mana potion. And Assault. Fantastic. I haven't seen any Mimics. Like, regular Mimics. Just yet. I love these uh, slimes for looking for souls because we get four chances. Alright, what are we up to? Three? Uh, does that mean we have nine or ten souls of night? Definitely got enough now. Let's get our shotgun. Uh, we probably need like a demon altar or something though. Oh, we need one more dark shard. Okay. Uh, that means back to the corrupt desert. I died? Rip. We'll get a we'll get an idea of how fast the hello has been spreading as well. Am 
Might get some pixie dust while we're at it. Uh, that's not that fast, but it'll be enough to block the corruption. Take that back. No, don't fall down there. You absolute buffoon. This is actually a pretty safe way to farm these. They might land on us temporarily, but they'll fall down below us where they can't reach. Okay, this is super effective. I'm gonna run out of mana though. Nope, they dropped mana down at us. Especially if I go up here. The item that increases our reach. I missed the merchant. Right. It's kind of important that we always check on them because uh, they they offer random stuff. And it can take a very long time to get the thing that you're looking for. Oh, and we've got our two... This is actually an amazing farming spot. Wow. Calculated. they're spawning so fast I'm not actually getting a chance to pick this stuff up but if I just leave and come back we can grab it all oh, we're fine monster meat oh, no. alright let's see what we got we still only got two dark shards after all that Got any banners just now? Might be good to put those down. Nope, never mind. Alright, so now we should be able to make our shotgun. Uh, and we just need a mithril anvil. Fantastic. Onyx blaster. Oh, and we can already make our infinite ammo pouch. We just need four stacks of basic bullets or basic arrows. And we take that to the crystal bowl. And voila. So it's only the most basic ammo in the game, but it is infinite. And this thing, this thing is a really good start for hard mode. Let's reforge it. Six gold to reforge. We only got 22 gold right now. All right, as long as we get something positive. Unpleasant? That is barely anything. I'll take the knockback though. It, it already had very strong knockback. So that'll help, I guess. Make this red die. Stack this stuff away. Uh, don't care about the Peak Man pet. Why is Cursed Flame not being stacked? There we go. Pearlstone can go in here, I guess. Don't care about this. Alright, so I think it's about time we break some demon altars so we can get some better armor. Um, where's the best place to do that? I 
kind of want to keep this one for crafting. It's nice and close to a pylon. Uh, we could probably... There's a whole bunch of them close to the mushroom pylon. Now would be a good time to try and fix the mushroom pylon as well. Let's grab a whole bunch of... There's actually an extra stack of glowing mushrooms here. Get some light. Oh. That is the nice thing about the Shield of Cthulhu. Just run, casually run into this thing and take no damage. Didn't even see it. Um, I'm not here to fight basic enemies though. Let's move on. It was taking longer than I realized it would. Oh, the enemy can't go through that way. That's good. Alright, so we need some walls. And then we need... A couple of lanterns. Candelabra, and a chair, and that should be suitable housing, fantastic. Uh, I did just have the painter here earlier. Oh wait, the truffle should be able to spawn. Does this count as glowing mushroom biome right now? I actually can't tell because of the graveyard. Um, if you place enough, if you place enough, uh, tombstones in close proximity, it becomes a graveyard biome, uh, and NPCs will give you certain things that they normally don't. We're about to die. Just trying to find time to pick up these tombstones. Oh no, don't dodge over there. That's the only thing I really hate about the dash in this game. The double tap input. It looks like we need to extend our mushroom biome a bit for this to ca Oh my goodness. Never more. I wish those doors were shut. Alright, let me grab this mud that doesn't exist. We can turn stone, uh, dirt into mud, but I don't have... I don't have any water here. Uh, there's some over this way, I guess we'll do that. Give us a chance to recuperate as well. Ah. Rude. All right. Uh, mud block. Fantastic. Can actually just glide down to where we're going here. Alright, so we're going to replace this with mud, uh, and the glowing mushroom biome is going to grow over this way. And that should mean that this will be glowing mushroom biome, which means that the truffle will spawn. I don't know if I have to defeat at least one boss before that's a possibility, though. But that should probably be enough.
All right, let's put down our grass seeds. And we'll come back here later. All right. Open sesame. I need this. Uh, don't really have room for the summons here. I guess I, I haven't been using this slot, so I could do that. Put this away. And is this empty right now? Yes, it is. Fantastic. All right. Finally, again, let's try. Oh, right. I was going to put the painter there so we could teleport there. That was the whole point. Whoops. Close enough. Let's break some demon altars, and just to confirm, I do have the Pone Hammer with me. Another traveling merchant? Okay, we'll get him on the way back. And... The first demon altar I see, I'm not going to destroy... I actually can't squeeze through here. I never even noticed this. Um, but as long as we keep one, it's fine. So this one can stay. This will be the most convenient demon altar we can use later on. Hammer, go burr. One, two, three. Palladium, Mithril, Adamantite. Fantastic. And we want to do, I think, at least 12 of these. Um, I think it gives diminishing returns. But it is worth breaking quite a few of these in order to get a decent amount. Make it easier to farm. Gotta be... well, don't have to be that careful about it if you know what you're doing, but watch out for wraith spawning whenever you break these things. They can kind of sneak up on you. Oh, that was careless. Uh, if you press shift, it gives you a context sensitive uh, selecting thing. Um, I pressed shift pointing at the demon altar and it gave me the first hammer in my inventory, which is this one. If you hit the demon altars with a hammer that's weaker than the own hammer, it actually just hurts you a lot. I can down here, but 
preferably a multiple of three. Palladium, Mithril, Adamantite. And there's only one left, unless I go somewhere else. That'll do. So now we're going to grab mining potions. Uh, spelunking potions. And I guess that's it, pretty much. Oh, we need Hellstone, a Hellstone pickaxe. So we need to grab a bit of Hellstone first before we're going to be able to mine any of this. Won't take long. In fact, I don't think I've done a Obsidian Potion here yet. Makes it nice and easy to harvest this stuff. I've already grabbed most of the low-hanging fruit, where you don't have to immerse yourself in lava nearby. Uh-oh. Nuisance imp. Um, summon an imp on top of it. That'll work. Not so much. As soon as you damage it once, it stops shooting until it teleports. That's all I'm really after. Imps do have a very rare drop. It's like a 2% at most. So you should always kill them. Uh, I think you need that for the Terra Spark boots. Could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. Something just hit me a lot harder than I thought it would. Ow. These pests are really... Okay. Alright, do we have enough Hellstone already? Probably. Yeah, we do. Uh, or do we? Let's see. 18 Hellstone Bars. Where's the pickaxe? We need 20? That's just rude. Okay, I guess let's go down and get the rest. Um, but since we're getting harassed so much, let's take some Iron Skin and Regen. Maybe I should have taken a Calming Potion as well. Reduce the monster spawn rate. So we probably need like literally six of these to finish what we started. May as well grab a bit more while we've got the immunity. That just... yeah, there we go. The thing is, we won't be needing Hellstone for much of anything else after this. We can just buy explosive arrows if we want them. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. All I can say is try and organize your stuff as best you can so you know where it is. Yeah, definitely. Um, I actually... What you what you see here is... 
with how organized my base is, um, with inventory and stuff, this is after the reorganization that I put off for too long. And I only had like maybe 10 chests of stuff to reorganize, um, but that got bad enough. Alright, Molten Pickaxe. Get out of here, Nightmare Pickaxe. Won't be using the Molten for very long either. I get to about 10 chests and I need to label them all. Yep, definitely. Alright, so we have our Spelunker Mining Potion. Let's start from the bottom. That's where the Adamantite usually is. Well, I mean, you definitely have to go pretty deep for it. We've got a lot of Mithril. Actually, I can't start with the Adamantite. We need the low tier stuff first. We have to mine one, uh, the first tier, make a pickaxe out of it, um, and then do the same thing again. See how much slower this is for digging dirt, even though it's a higher tier pickaxe? That's why I hadn't made it yet. Let's go mining potion, seafood dinner. Much better. We already had some palladium back at spawn from fishing. Um, so I might just see if I can hurry up and make this pickaxe already. And actually, just just in, as an exercise in showing you what not to do, let's make a drill instead. Don't worry, we won't be using it for very long. There's one, exactly one reason not to do this. Is this Mithril? No. Uh, where the Mithril at? I thought I saw some here earlier. Don't, don't underestimate those skeleton arches. That's adamantite. Um, right there. Hey, it ate our one tile of pearl set, uh, pearl stone. Now it's not going to spread the hallow here. We need to do something about that. Here's what we're looking for. Mithril ore. Listen to that beautiful sound effect. Isn't it lovely? Uh-oh. It's not as loud as I remember it. Maybe they... Maybe they made it a little bit less obnoxious. So we've already got 40. Um, it does make sense to make Mithril armor because it's pretty hard to get enough to make the third tier. So we can at least have this as a sort of stuff gap. Wait, why am I still mining Palladium? I don't think there's any reason to. Let's see what we've got. Mithril... We have three bars already. Fifteen gives us a pickaxe. Fantastic. Get out of here, drill. This sword actually sucks. I'm shocked how weak it is. Do I have a melee weapon that would be better already? Fifty-two damage. Yeah, I think the Sun Fury is better than this. Oh, and we should get a Toxicarp, actually. It's one of my favorite weapons. We can get it quite early in hard mode. Uh, it is a infinite ammo weird bubble gun thing that does ranged damage. Oh, I forgot the merchant again. 
Rip. Um, but yeah, we will be now able to harvest the third tier. Which has gone and torn up our home a little bit here. I sh I'd better hurry up and get the um, pearl stone back here. Let's do that now. Make sure that's going to be the friendlier biome. Not that it's like on your side or something. It's just that the uh, NPCs don't hate it. Spelunker, Gopher. It's a lot of bats. Big owl. Probably just wasted some kind of potion there, but that's fine. Also, I should have my bug net ready when I'm here. Um, there's a there's a worm that spawns here that is used for summoning a boss, um, but it flees as soon as it see as you, as soon as you get kind of close to it. Oh, good, we've got. The tier 1 metal, uh, metal that's like the similar colour to the tier 3. That's always good. Not. We're getting really small patches of adamantite. But so far we're finding a few of them. Is that adamantite? Yep, there we go. Didn't mean to put a halic torch there. It's fine. So I think it's four adamantite to make one bar. And we're going to need probably something like 70 to make a set. Only, only finding rather small veins. Oh, that's a bit scary. Hey, it's Mr. Mr. Bones. Let's stop burning if we can. Now. Hello, Bonesy. What do you got for me? Nothing too exciting right now. Uh, at a specific phase of the moon, he actually sells a lantern that, like, highlights resources, just like these Spelunker glow sticks do. Well, I guess you can't really see it right now through the Spelunking potion, but it adds, like, a yellow sparkle to all these resources. Take those souls. Alright, I guess we can cover a bunch of ground if we go through here. Oh, 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 sneaky. Why is a chaos elemental spawning here? This is a hallowed enemy, not a corrupt enemy. Always want to check if it drops the Rod of Discord, though. Very, very rare drop. Very, very, very useful. Uh, it lets you teleport. It doesn't cost any mana or anything, but if you cast it over and over, you lose health. I can't remember if you need line of sight for it to work. I don't think this is the best game for me to start with on Steam Deck. Too many controls. 
I'd be interested to see how they... Oh, how they implement that, actually. You'd think those floating, glowing weapon things... That's a mimic. Uh, could occasionally give you some good weapons or something, but nope. Literally never. What do we get? Star Cloak. That's good. Especially for Mage. Which is what I feel like playing right now. That that's getting a bit scary. That's getting a bit scary. Do not underestimate bats in this game. How full is our void bag? Not very. We've got 60 adamantite ore. I think I need to start a game I know how to play. Yeah, that makes sense. To get a feel for it. Super customizable, tons of options. Nice. Oh, and we got our first soul of light, I think. Um, I can't really think of something I need the souls of light for at the moment. And we've got other priorities. Ooh, no, wait, that's Palladium, isn't it? What a tease. I'll grab it anyway. Maybe we'll sell it or something. Chaos Elementals must die. Bats are even worse. Rod of Discord. Oh, that is a good chunk of adamantite right there. That's almost as big as they come. of this spelunking potion still. We're looking for mithril and adamantite. Mining potion? That's more like it. Terra Spark boots pretty make it pretty much make it so that lava is your friend. It's like on your team. That's a good chunk of mithril. And I see some more down the bottom right, along with some adamantite. Don't particularly want the tungsten. What is that? Oh, a worm. I'll take the worm. Ow! Jeez. Rude. some more before we go back. I'd really like to get Mithril Mage Armor right now. Ow, 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 ow. Silt, calm down. 
Oh, and that is another big chunk of... We're getting really, really lucky with our adamantite. Uh, this is bad. That's fine. I could have used the shield of Cthulhu at the last second as well. much we've got. 186. Um, so that's what, almost 50 adamantite bars, I believe. Oh, that's... that almost one-shot us. Wow. That was rough. Um, we're about to run out of all of our buffs except for mining. Let's go back. Set it up to pause when you're in a menu, and I think you should be okay. That's an option with Terraria, yeah. I prefer... I prefer to keep it running real-time, but... Uh, a lot of people have it so that whenever you bring up the inventory, the game is paused. Alright, let's uh, stack this stuff away. And grab our adamantite ore. Star cloak, mithril ore. Not too worried about everything else just yet. Wait, did we? No, okay. This is our first adamantite ore. Oh, I need, I need an adamantite forge first. So the first 30 goes to waste, well not waste, but we need 30 ore plus Hellforge plus Mithril Anvil to make a forge that can actually work with this stuff. And we only have 41 bars now. We need 24 plus 18 plus 12. 30, 54, to make a set. Um, if I recall correctly, it's actually cheaper to get frost armor. Wait, do we not use adamantite for frost armor? Let's see. How much mithril do we have? Way less than I thought. Where's the guide? Um, let's see. 10, 30, 45. We only need 45 to make the Mithril set. Okay. But we need 54 for this one. Oh, there it is. There's Frost Armor. Uh, 10, 30, 46. We've almost got enough already to make the Frost Armor set, but we need the Frost Cores, of course. And we can't get those until it's raining, because the um, frost giants, uh, golems, whatever, only spawn in a snowstorm. Uh, let's check, how much ore does it take to make a bar? The guide was following me, sneaky. Played about 10 hours on PC, so I know a tiny bit. Nice. Truffle has arrived. That's good as well. Yeah, it is four. Okay. So we need like... 13 times four. Like 50 adamantite ore. To get our set. Um, 
so the truffle is here. Fantastic, we can teleport to the dungeon now. That's what I want to see. Ow. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Don't really get any rewards for killing those. Uh, let's see. Star Cloak. Traveling Merchant has arrived. This one we're not going to miss. Jungle? Where has he gone? Oh, he's right here. No, that's me. Is he down here? No? Uh, it must be the snow biome. Here we go. DPS meter. I think we need one of those. At least. Oh no, we've got goblin tech already. Let's see, we've got Goblin Tech, R.E.K., G.P.S. We're just waiting on something from a fishing quest. Then we, we can make the ultimate, like, utility item. The cell phone. It combines the magic mirror and literally all of the information items. Underground and caverns fishing. Um, I think this will work right here. Made a little fishing spot earlier. I still haven't made the star cloak thing. I think there's a few things you can make out of this, but right now I'm most interested in the mana cloak. I've never actually used two of these mana usage reducing items at once. Uh, maybe it makes sense, considering how bad our damage is at the moment. Uh, I was enjoying this item last playthrough, but that was maybe because I couldn't find the accessory that I needed to make this one. Well, we'll make it anyway. I'll maybe consider using both. Uh, let's see. Mage stuff. Mana cloak. And... I don't know. I don't really feel like I can just... We could swap out regen. Just don't take damage, lol. Put this away for now. Okay. Where to next? Did we empty this? We not even close. Don't need a hello torch. Uh pearlstone block. I was gonna fix this as well. There we go. And I should probably speed up the process of hallowifying this. Cheeky fireball. Oh, that's right, we need to fish here. From the safety of our little town. Wait, what? Who put obsidian down there? Okay, that's just rude. Let's not go out with fishing gear on. He's a Voxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Congrats on the Factorio victory. Thank you. Very much looking forward to doing things a bit differently with the Crastorio 2 SE playthrough as well. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, just need to find... There we go. Fishing go burr. What 
time is it? 2 p.m. There's no way we missed the fishing quest. The only trouble with spreading the hallowed, uh, underground hallowed biome here. Why can't I get this through here now? Is we're sometimes going to get those teleporting chaos elementals bothering us here. That's the quest fish. Um, what am I dropping? This? There's our angler. There we go. Yep, another bunch of stuff we're not interested in. Thanks for getting me hooked on SE plus K2 yesterday, by the way. You're welcome. Started a 0.6 playthrough as well. Nice. Swore to myself I'd wait a, a bit longer before sinking. Yeah, me too. Um, I think... Uh, I think just not being able to even find a lead um, for the Foenestra puzzle at that point and having like hours left on the stream uh, I almost didn't really have a choice um, but to start the new playthrough at that point Palladium Ore goes here Souls go here so we've got two light, nine night, and seven flight. But flight, it's really easy to have way more than enough flight. It's hardly worth noting. Bullets. Go in here. When... Uh, what are we doing? Silt goes in the extractinator. Stack all of that. I guess we don't have gold yet. I'll put that in the uh, potion ingredients. Oh, I already did. Whatever resource you don't normally get on this planet, uh, I tend to hold onto that for like potion crafting. So gold ore as opposed to uh, platinum ore. Okay, nom, and swap out these blink roots. Did I talk to the... yeah I did, I got DPS meters, that traveling merchant. Loot and stack. Alright, so we need just a bit more of Mithril and... Actually, you know what? I should be carrying the weather radio. As much as I hate to have even less inventory space. Um, I, I want to know if it's raining. Because we're waiting on that so that we can get the frost shards. Alright, down we go again. Let's not mess around this time. Uh, that's palladium, not what, what... Oh, wow. Two chests. Just right there. I mean, they're probably redundant by this point, but still. I'll take the gold chests just for... Having the nice containers in our home base. That is filling our inventory with crap very quickly, though. And look how close Cloud to a bot Cloud in a bottle was to our home spawn that whole time. All right, Mithril and Adamantite go. There's another chest. Never mind. Let me in. And I hear a fairy. Oh, it's an actual 
It's a pixie. Not a fairy. It's not trying to help us. What do we got? Another regen band? That's actually good. Because we can combine it with a certain item. I think I already had the worm statue. This is like our fourth heart statue. This would be like very, very nice if we were not doing a arena list challenge. We can hook them up to a timer and just have them spawn hearts for us. Just to show we've been here. I've already got the guide painting. Uh, this is going to get a little dangerous, actually. If I don't get through here quickly. Love the slime mount. The slime mount is the only mount. I mean, uh, not counting the queen slime mount, of course, which is just an upgrade. Uh, the only mount that I use moment to moment in combat. Oh. Okay, yeah, that was that was actually really helpful. The falling stars when we take damage. Not as much that time. Could you stop? Okay. That is a mimic over there. It is not a chest. And I am here for it. That. You can see the difference there, actually. There's one chest and one mimic on screen with a hunter potion and a spelunking potion active. Uh, dead giveaway for mimics is sometimes they are placed in a spot where a chest couldn't possibly be, like on the edge of a cliff or something. This is actually costing a lot of mana. Are we ever going to get in there? We don't really have the DPS. Could spam laser pistol. That might work. Oh wait. Oh no. Okay. Uh, I came here with fishing gear on again. Whoops. That's kind of scary. What did we get? Uh, I didn't actually see what we got from the Mimic. That's another heart. Ow. And... nothing too exciting at this stage. What did we even get from the Mimic? Uh, I don't see anything mim that's a Mimic drop. Can that thing hit us? Yeah, I literally don't see what it could have dropped. Nothing good here. I'm just going to ignore that for once. Well... I hope we didn't, like, get scammed or something. Maybe we quick stacked it into here or something. No, I don't think that's possible. Considering the possible drops. Alright, spelunking, mining. We're looking for mithril. And adamantite. That's a little bit of mithril. We don't need that much. Oh, wow. Those falling stars deal more damage than I would have expected. That's nice. Should also keep an eye out for 
the queen slime spawning thingamajig. That is the technical term. Something gel, I think. I don't want to break this. That is one of the disadvantages as well. If we use uh, illuminate paint for that, is we need the paint again if we have to break that. That is a touch plate. No, it's not. Duck statue. Inventory must be getting pretty full at this stage. Wait, I think that's it up there. Oh, it cycles its color. Gelatin crystal. That's what we're looking for. As soon as we're prepared, that's going to be our first hard mode boss. Um, at the very, very least, I'm going to need Mithril Armor. I don't... I'd be very curious to see if it's possible with Mithril Armor, actually. I would prefer to have the Frost Armor. This is another Gelatin Crystal. Partly because Frost Armor is just one of my favorites. Um, it's really unfortunate that it's not relevant for too long. I mean, it'll get you through quite a decent chunk of early hard mode, but... You really want hallowed armor for the harder bosses. Just being able to tank one hit every once in a while that doesn't do any damage. Um, is just extremely powerful against bosses. That... That is a trap. I want to check something real quick. I think this is like one of the few achievements I'm missing. Dead Men Tell No Tales. We're opening this. I don't even care. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do... Um, let's put our money... Where, where did my safe go? Uh oh. Um, could you stop distracting me, please? Oh, there's another one coming. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's put our money in here. Who cares about the copper? That way we we don't drop it. All right. Achieve. We got one, two boulders, uh, one, two, I think three explosives. No, just two. I see one, two, three dart traps. And you can see the, uh, you can see where the wiring is here. Master Gamer, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, it, whoa, 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 before we do, let's pick this up again. Don't, do not want to be leaving the void bag behind. All right, achievement incoming. Fantastic. Is that what I think it is? No, I think it's palladium. All right, let's stack this stuff away. I guess that killed our buffs as well. Mithril Ore goes here. We should have enough for a set now. We got 45. 10, 30, 45 exactly. Alright, let's do this. And this is going to be a pretty big improvement, I think. 5, 6, and 5 defense versus... 3, 12, and 9. Uh, so 21, 23, 24, 25. Our defense goes from 33 to 41. That's not that big of an upgrade. Uh, max mana from 200 to 260. 
And instead of 21% increased magic damage, and space gun costs zero mana, but space gun's really weak at this point, we get 7% increased damage plus 15% increased magic damage, so that's already 22. 17% reduced mana usage and 10% magical crit chance. I don't see any, like, interesting set bonuses, though. Like, I forget if it's Orichalcum or Titanium gives you some weird shieldy things when you deal damage. But I'll definitely take that little upgrade. Well, not so little upgrade. Actually, why don't I compare DPS? So this is with the laser rifle. Our old magic set. Oh, I need DPS meter first. About two... 30 something. I didn't mean to go so far as to drink a mana potion. That might have been a bit of a low roll before. Let's call it 230 to 240. And now we deal 270-ish, 280, no that was more of a peak, it's really not that big of an upgrade. We do get a decent amount more mana as well though, which means our mana is going to regen faster unless we completely empty it also. It's a start. Uh, that nerd Tristan. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Stack this away. Banners can go here. And... That's a lot of stuff to empty out. Why is my void bag dropped? Stacky stacky. Don't need the hallowed torches. Old chests can go down here. Crystals going here. Sell this crap. Visions of Terror. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And this can go here. Stack, stack, stack. Why aren't we stacking Blinkroot Seeds? There we go. Do we also get movement speed out of this? Actually, no. Okay. And... Go. I actually haven't used that shotgun that I went to the trouble of making, now that I think about it. Let's try to give it a bit more attention. Alright, buff stations, go for... 
Is there anything good for target practice? Well, there's stuff down here, I guess. Mining potion, spelunking potion. And we're going to be a little bit deep. But oh, that's a lot of mithril. Wait, wait, we got our mithril set. We're just looking for adamantite now. And vision. Uh, and food. Pickaxe go burr. There's some more. That was fast. I'm going to pick up one tungsten. I'm going to pick up all of it. But that's not what I'm looking for here. We're getting pretty close to having enough adamantite uh, to get the frost armor set. If it doesn't rain soon, I'll try killing the queen slime with this uh, mithril mage set. But I think I think it's going to go a little bit badly. I don't necessarily see myself getting killed, but having to retreat, sure. What buff did we just run out of? We've got mining, we've got food. Uh, we've got mining, we've got food. Why are we mining a little bit slower now? That's weird. I wonder what that could be. What else? What other buff could I have... Oh, I think the sugar rush from the cake, it says it gives you movement speed. Maybe it also gives you, like, swing speed. That would make sense. Uh, that's actually not what we're looking for. I'll take it anyway. Don't really care about Mithril anymore already. Unless I want to make like a Mithril range set or something, but I'd really rather just get the Frost Armor for ranged. Cake withdrawal symptoms? Yes, indeed. That's also Palladium. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Uh, you are not what we're looking for. Could you please... Could you be persuaded to stop? Shield of Cthulhu to the rescue again. As much as I like not having to use an inventory slot for the dash... Um... I think I will miss the Shield of Cthulhu. Can we safely bust this? Where's the explosive? Whoa, 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 whoa. Rude. Uh, what is this linked to? Oh, there's the explosive. Okay, bat, you're gonna have a bad time. I see a couple of geysers, I think, under our target.
Oh, that's scary. These things can shoot a web at you that stuns you, and then they just immediately destroy you. I don't think I can get that. Um, well, it depends on where the spiders can spawn. It's definitely not safe. Um, that can spawn a skeleton, but that's not a threat. It's definitely not safe to get this, but I kind of want it. We can also make a good summoner set. Uh, this might actually be the easiest way to get a decent set at this stage. If we just keep killing black recluses. so dangerous. What is that thing that keeps falling from up there? Nothing. Ah, jeez! Okay, spawn two centimeters off screen as soon as I go up. That's, that's cool. That's fair. Poison stuff. That is, if I recall, a very strong weapon. I don't normally get that. I think it's a rare drop. Alright, we actually did get the adamantite. And probably not enough fangs to make... Let's get out of here. We've definitely got enough adamantite now. Uh, I could make a sword as well. Or we could go melee build. Just because it has way more defense. McVeggie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We could also do an adamantite repeater for range damage. Let's see, 91. It costs uh, 36 plus 18. 54. To make a complete set. Or we could do... I forgot to bring it with me. Or we could do like 40-something. To get the frost armor set. Thirty forty six, but we need frost cores. We're still waiting for it to rain slash snow so that we can get these things. Hmm. Well, I did say I would try to kill the queen slime with mithril armor if we're still waiting on this. So I guess it's time to prepare. I don't think it's going to go particularly well. Um, we could definitely buff this thing. Plus four damage or defense, that's fine. Maybe I should be going for more plus damage. I've actually... Oh, wow. Okay, so I've got two that are plus damage, and then one, two, three, four, five plus defense. I mean, it's good not to get two shot, but... That's not helping us actually clear the enemies and prevent them from damaging us. Alright. Gelatin crystal. Uh, where did our spare safe go? Did I actually put it down on the ground somewhere and forget it forever? It's possible. Let's just grab this one. Alright, so... Heart Reach Potions... 
mining and spelunking can go in here. Inferno, I don't think that's going to do a whole lot. Titan is actually significant because of the minions. Uh, definitely Grav Potion. We need that. I don't believe we can get Life Fruit from the jungle yet, can we? Not that I know that I would recognize it on the map. No, I'm pretty sure we can't get Life Fruit until we, like, kill the mechanical bosses or something. Um. Oh yeah, what was that spell we got? 61 magic damage? That's huge. Times 4. Alright, this is going to be our slot 1 now. Let's see what kind of DPS we get. Oh, I need a DPS meter, of course. Oh wow, okay, that is that is a lot more damage. I mean, it, this is point blank where it's all hitting, but that is a lot more damage than anything else we've had so far. That was a good find. Let's reforge it if we can afford it. Godly? That That's a great start. I, I, I think I'll keep it. We can't really afford to re-roll it that much, and we're not going to be using it for that long. Alright, that was pretty good luck. Um, keeping all of this, not that. We should definitely have imps. I don't think we've got enough and we might be able to make something with the spider fangs, but not the set. We need 12 plus 16. We need another 20 to make this summon set. Plus 3 minions, plus 16% minion damage, and I forget if there's a set bonus. Um, the spider staff is actually... we can't afford it yet. Oh no, that's the queen one, that's the sentry. Yeah, we can make the spider stuff. This thing actually latches onto enemies. Um, they're a little slow, not exactly slow, but they're not great at the movement to actually get to the point of latching onto something. But once they do latch on, they never let go. Can we get Ruthless? Oh, it costs nothing to reforge this. Let's go plus damage. Hurtful. Plus 12. Oh, oh wow. Okay, that was ridiculously good luck. Um, I just rolled it onto Ruthless, which is what we're looking for, and then I accidentally clicked it once more. And we still got plus 19% damage. That's literally the best we could get. Fantastic. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Go for... An imp and a spider. Sure, why not? Summoning stuff can go in here at this stage. Did we get all of our temporary, our one-off buffs? Let's do an extra summon. And thorns. And I guess that'll be it. I don't know if we have to summon it in the hallow, but we may as well go there.
And we're going to use the grab potion so that we can fall away from the enemy nice and fast. That's going to be our ammo with a lot of these bosses. All right. Queen slide. Ow. Okay, I just lost like almost 200 health from bumping into a rando enemy. get back to full health. I'll try and kill this thing. I was gonna say it helps if we leave some mana stars lying around, but it's too easy to accidentally pick them up with this item. Almost ready. I suspect Valdak is around here somewhere. It's possible. What if I mention words on stream? Alright, we're at full health. Um, let's ignore these as much as we can. And... Go. So most of this fight is pretty easy, but it gets a lot harder towards the end. Gotta be a bit careful. I need the minimap to see where it is. I wanna keep our distance as much as possible. The extra enemies are not helping. Maybe I should have brought a calming potion. It's going to be a bit slow killing this thing. Oh, I should probably be trying to use... Ow. No, we're going to miss a lot with that, so I'm not sure how much better it really is. It's not really a boss fight weapon. Nope, 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 nope. Do not tease me. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could use a break soon. The voice is getting a bit tired. Get away from the slime spike span. Oh, careful. We're approaching the halfway point. I don't know exactly how low... Queen Slime has to get before it gets a bit more serious. Oh. She does start flying. I think she starts flying at 50%, but that's not the worst of it. Starts getting a lot faster and more aggressive towards the end. Yeah, here we go. Clouds are not helping. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's heal preemptively. We've got resto potions. Shorter cooldown and not as strong. Uh, my 
Grab potion ran out. What the hell? You're kidding. Oh no. I only brought one? Oh, that was stupid. Oh no. I didn't realize it would take this long. Oh no. This, this is bad. This is very bad. I might have to bail. I, I have to bail. There's no, there's no might about it. No, I had a grav potion. I definitely rebuffed. Why wasn't it working? What the hell? Um, but yeah, we don't really have the damage. I think... I think we need frost armor. Yeah, I think we need frost armor. Um, do we really not have any pairs between all these? Apparently not. Okay. I could skip time forward so that we get different weather. Cloudy, clear. I don't think we can stop it. It goes forward to the next day. Rain! Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. That's what we need. I'm, I can't believe that worked the first try. Alright, so we gotta find three ice golems and kill them. They're actually really dangerous. Um, normally you would cheese it with a box or something, but we're not doing that this playthrough. Um, so I have to try and be smart about positioning and or terrain. If we can get our spider attached to it, that's kind of GG. If we can just then avoid line of sight. Alright. Gotta be really careful about... Um, not getting them off screen as well. They're a bit of a rare spawn, and as soon as you run away just a little bit, they just disappear. And they've got tons of health. So it can be a little bit of a nuisance killing these things. But first we have to find them. And I don't actually have... Uh, you know what, I'm gonna burn another potion of return here to grab this thing. It's going to tell us when there's brand monsters. Oh, there it is. Alright, we need to get our spider onto it. There we go. And then we just need to avoid it for long enough for it to die. Which is quite a while, actually. Do I have a way out here? No. Oh, it's stuck. Ow! Jeez, okay. Well, this works. Much better than expected. Now we just have to kill three of these fast enough to get um, our set while it's still snowing. That's bullying? Yeah, I didn't expect it to, bu to work this well.
All right. One down, two to go. I think there's one other item reason to um, get frost shards as well. So it'd be good if we can get four. We just have to find them first. We're still slow. 32 seconds of chilled remaining? That doesn't help anything. Um, I think we should probably buff ourselves here. Don't underestimate them. Enjoy the rest of the steam. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Michael Gwinnett. I don't think it helps if I cover more ground. We've pretty much just got about the same chance at every moment for the ice golem to spawn. Although it couldn't hurt to hang out where we got the golem spawning in a spot that's really helpful for us. It does let us put out, um, like a quote unquote free fireball much more often having this bigger um, mana capacity. Yeah, I think maybe it only spawns at night. So we have to wait, what, eight, eight and a half minutes? If that's the case. And hope it's still snowing. Well, if we're waiting for eight minutes, we should do some fishing. A fishing potion is eight minutes. Oh, that's not eight minutes. This is a good time to use this spell as well. Oh, it's falling down. Okay. One hundred and forty-three. Ow! 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 Okay, I see how it is. Um, I should use the ice wand as soon as these enemies are stopped harassing. Alright, check this out. Ice one goes here. Could you stop? Could could you stop? Okay. Alright, two down, one to go. 
That is really effective. Who would have thought the Ice Rod would be the hard counter to the, to the Ice Golem? Not sure about this weapon, actually. No fishing here? Yeah, no. Uh, can't say I'm disappointed that we're not doing fishing right now. I should definitely hurry up and re-roll the Ice Rod so we can get, like, minus mana usage plus damage. Yeah, this weapon's actually pretty awkward to use. So we've got two good spots, one on the left, one on the right, um, to trap the ice golems into. Just need one more to spawn. Excuse me. It's getting dark. It's getting weirdly dark. Oh. Spooky. Oh, I see Ice Golem is on the screen. There we go. There's a few too many pests here right now. Uh, probably because I drank a battle potion, right? Should I cancel it? It's actually, the Ice Golem is actually not able to get over this hill because of the spider damaging it. Okay, that works. Can we just not... Alright, where's the battle potion? There we go. our frost armor. We can try getting one more. I forget what else we would need the frost core for, but I would rather get them all in one go if possible. And there it is. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Nope. Nope. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. I just wasted quite a few buff potions there, but whatever. Ice Feather. 
I'm pretty sure that's a better set of wings that we can make as well. Let me just grab this stuff. Perfect. Alright, so what does the frost core make? Cool whip. That's the other thing we can make. Uh, this summon whip makes like a weird ice thing that chases enemies after you hit them. And this... I, I wish... Um, I wish it would just show you, like, when you mouse over this, how much flight height you get out of it. But, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to get some more souls of flight so we can make some... Um, so that we can compare it to the harpy wings. But I'm pretty sure it is a straight upgrade. Did that just quick stack? Oh, we have two ice feathers. Okay, but first of all, it's time. It's time for frost armor. Which means it's time to start playing ranger, because this only works with physical damage, melee or ranged. Um, and all of our attacks cause frostburn, which is like... It's a uh, damage over time, and it also provides light, which is nice. Um, let's see if I can demonstrate it. Yeah, see that blue trail? Okay, so time to put together some... Some ranged gear? Other than the armor? Um, let's make the cool whip while we're at it. Oh, that's quite a few souls. Eight and eight. Don't think we have that right now. We should also get ourselves some souls of flight. still be holding on to the flame lash. RPs don't want to spawn now. That's quite a bit of burn damage. There's our friend. How did the spider fall off of it? Wow, that's actually a lot more damage than we had, like, before. Just with the onyx blaster. Oh, also, yeah, we're getting damage buff from the armor. For range damage is that. Alright, we have 14 souls of flight on us. Um, I don't remember if there's enough. There's just enough to make the frozen wings. Alright, let's see. Uh, harpy wings. We go from 180 height. To 412. It's exactly the same. Well then, I guess we'll keep them menacing. That was surprisingly disappointing. Um, I can keep this for the aesthetic if we like. Uh, let's see. Over here. Take that one. Uh, 
Okay, but more to the point, what bullet weapon or bow weapon are we going to use? I think the obvious choice right now is the adamantite repeater. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. We need to make an endless arrow pouch. Endless quiver. And let's see what our DPS looks like with this thing. Oh, it'd probably help if I picked up the DPS meter. Blaster is actually higher. Uh, although we haven't. Staunch is pretty good, depending on the cost of re rolling. Let's see. 9 gold to re roll this, 5 to re roll this. Let's see if we can get, like, Unreal, maybe. Superior. I'll take Godly. Oh, there we go. Unreal. Plus 15% damage, plus 11% speed. 5 crit. 10 velocity. 15 knockback. Nice. And now it does DPS. It's actually less consistent now. It feels like. So high 200s. That's pretty good. Alright, um, I don't think we have a ranger emblem, do we? So we need to kill the ball of flesh at least once more. It's going to be a lot easier now. Um, probably don't need these against the wall of flesh. Don't need magic power potions right now. Don't need a space gun anymore. Oh, that's summoning. Sell this stuff. Pixie dust. We need that for better potions. Uh, better health potions. Three of these, one crystal shard, and some bottled water. We can't make a whole lot of them right now. Um, I'll hold... Oh, we do actually need hard mode stuff to make the media stuff, so I didn't forget it. Holy arrow. Summons falling stars on impact. I know these are very strong versus... The Destroyer. Not sure how good they are against... Um, against the Queen Slime. Don't really need to hold on to the weather radio anymore. Uh, could you be persuaded to stop? Alright, stuck this stuff away, including the seeds. Pixie dust goes in potion ingredients. We need more, and we need some unicorn horns. And 
we need to make sure this is empty. Oh, uh, I want a Toxicarp. Let's go get that. It is a semi-rare get from Fishing Corruption. Oh wow, we one-shot that? It's really nice in combination with the Frost Armor because the bubbles are a source of light. It's a nice little quality of life thing. I can pick up another cake. Gotta remember that. Alright, fishing gear. Fishing gear. And fishing. Buffs. I guess I shouldn't have gone for the crate potion. I don't think it's found in crates, what I'm looking for. Uh, this is some nice rapid fire fishing. Avon Lady? What? Avon Lady. Maybe I should have drank a luck potion before I came here, or when I got here. Infect- oh, that's a quest fish. Let's go hand it in real quick. Um, I need to make room somehow. There we go. Also, I just realized this is the one that I hoarded earlier because I accidentally got two of them. So we still have a spare Infected scabbard fish. Oh well. What was I gonna do at the jungle? Oh yeah, cake. There we go. Slice of cake. Nom. I could take this little guy for a luck buff. Door-to-door -door salespeople we get, they try and sell makeup and stuff. Ah. Alright, down we go. Boing. And... Lock this guy down. Two shots. Nice. Alright, back to the fishing. Um, make room. So the gnome statue gives us a luck buff. We've got fishing potions. Uh, the best fishing rod. Oh, I need bait. Uh, we've got full fishing gear, um, crate potion, sonar potion, fishing potion, best fishing rod, uh, best fishing accessory. The only way we could go any higher on the fishing power, and I think it is capped it eventually, um, is if we had, like, double fishing accessories. The sort of people you close your curtains so they don't know you're at home. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone for the crate potion, because I think the Toxicarp 
Uh, oh, I don't actually have a crate potion active already. Yeah, the toxic cup, I think we just fish it up directly. We're also going to gain a bunch of money and stuff. And we won't have to worry about running out of damage reduction and damage buffing potions for a while. Very handy when uh, the corruption fishing is deep enough to also get armored cave fish. again. It is possible, by the way, to just skip pulling something in if you don't want it, but I tend to... I tend to find I'm better off just pulling it in as quickly as possible. Instead of making a decision each time. Especially when fishing power is high enough that it's this fast. And we hardly ever actually lose bait. Looks like we are going to run out of master bait before we get our... Toxic up though. At least we'll be set for life on Ebon Koi. There's enough monsters around here that we're not getting anything spawning to bother us. we're not getting it from these potions. I might put off fishing it up for a little while. Unfortunate. Alright, let's stack this stuff away. Crates can go... In here, I guess. That's a lot of clubber fish. Um, this guy's already always maximum happiness, so it'll give us the best price. Uh, 
Ease attack. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't need another Vile Thorn. And let's stack this stuff away. Wait, do I need to buy anything from here? Uh, yes, actually. We can make better bullets. Uh, and thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Is it... Is it easy... As a tech? Easy for tech? Thank you very much. Easy for tech. Okay. Let's go... What bullets can we make right now? Crystal bullets, but I haven't been farming that much... Uh, crystal shard. Cursed bullets? No, we've got a few cursed flame lying around. That's actually going to give us double damage over time because of the uh, frost armor. And we can also do... Hardy Bullet has really high knockback, uh, and it basically just costs money. Explosive Bullet is pretty much the same deal though, and you get AoE. Golden Bullet is... sort of pays for itself. Um, enemies killed drop more money. Fourteen range damage? 16. Let's go Cursed Bullets. Uh, where are the Cursed Flames? There we go. And I just have to put those before the Endless Musket Patch, I think. No, it has to be... This is highest priority. Um, except... It's actually arrows that we're going to be using mainly at the moment. So I didn't even need to make those. Um, let's see, we need basic arrows for crafting. First, I'm pretty sure we're going to go for cursed arrows here. We can just buy Hellfire Arrows. Yeah, it's definitely going to be Cursed Arrows. Let's do that. Uh, how do I make them? Mithril Anvil, Cursed Flame, Wooden Arrow. Cursed Flame, Mithril Anvil. What an arrow. Yeah, never mind. I don't know how I missed it. Where in the UK are you from? Uh, Australia, actually. They're showing up third arrow. Yes, thank you. Alright, let me stack away this uh, ammo stuff. And... I guess the wooden arrows as well. Are we ready to try Queen Slime again? It's not expensive to make an attempt on her. I don't have a Ranger Emblem yet, though. Um, yeah, we need more gear for Ranger. Oh, what happened to my accessory there? Let's see. Menacing Band of Regen. Uh, yeah, I just straight up don't have anything for Ranger right now. Oh, unless we count... I mean, Sharktooth Necklace is already a bit out of date, but if we're going to do two damage items, I guess it's going to be 
Ranger emblem and shark tooth necklace. We can compare the DPS. No shark tooth necklace. Oh, 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 don't waste those. Uh, stop with the damage over time. Alright. And once again, I need a DPS meter. I should really put one... Keep it close by, like this. Alright, so we're looking at about 3... I was going to say 350 DPS, but it's dropping off. A bit over 300 on average, I would say. Oh, this doesn't have armor, though, I'm pretty sure. So it's not going to show any difference. Alright, oh, what did I just see there? Feel vibrations from deep below. I don't think we're ready for this. In fact, I'm sure we're not ready for this. Uh, so why don't we not fight the destroyer right now? And instead, we'll kill the wall of flesh again. Destroy it? Yeah, we can, we can just ignore it if we stay deep below. Um, even if I did make a bunch of holy arrows, I'm actually just missing an accessory slot that would be useful for ranger. I guess I could go for one damage slot and one, uh, what is it called? Anti-knockback shield? But I was actually surprised how much I could just not with that anti-knockback shield from another playthrough. But yeah, I think um, we're probably already at the point where the Stinger Necklace is not that good. Remember when 1.2 dropped and you could get the Shadow Beam stuff so early on in hard mode you could kill the Destroyer in like two seconds? I didn't really do that. I never tried uh, Holy Arrows plus Daedalus Bow, and they were as overpowered as they supposedly were. Speaking of which, we haven't got a single item from a Hallowed or Corruption Mimic yet. Um, we've been attacked by a couple of Mimics, but it's been in a really awkward spot, not good to fight. We can always save up... Um, Souls of Light and or Night. If you get, I think it's 15 of them, you turn it into a key that you then put in a chest. And the chest gets turned into a Biomimic. And you can fight them up on the surface where it's really easy because the main thing fighting these things is whether or not you have space. Vampire Knives were so overpowered as well, yeah. Um, we can't get Vamp Knives on a Corruption World though, right? Because it's in the biome chest in the dungeon. It's not like we can... Even if we make a artificial biome crimson. Sounds dumb, but I find it easier to fight them underground instead of on the surface. Why is that? I guess I may as well hold on to this Sorcerer's Emblem for the moment. Have we gone far enough? Probably not. I mean, I don't want to waste a Wall of Flesh fight just because I was a bit lazy. I'm not taking near as many buff potions as I could, but we definitely don't need all of them at this stage. Give me Obsidian Rose, please. Nope. Uh, 
after playing strict classes last playthrough, uh, it really is quite refreshing just to have, like, magic missile handy. Alright, let's go. Um, do I just want to use every buff except Hunter? Probably. The double damage over time is actually working really well since we tend to hit one of the hungries maybe once or twice. Oh wow, that damage is actually really good already. Yeah, this is not going to be difficult. Also hitting the different sections might be giving us lots of damage over time. Alright, Ranger Emblem. Ranger Emblem, go. Oh. Ranger Emblem, that's a Sorcerer Emblem. That's a Sorcerer Emblem and a Laser Rifle, which we already had both of. Is this a joke? Let's, let's probably not with the Cursed Bullets right now, since the Onyx Blaster is really just sort of our sidearm, kind of, sort of. I don't know why I really dislike not playing strict class only. Mm, to each their own. I played the... my, my last playthrough I did... Um, Arenalus expert with strict classes and if I die I would switch classes so it forced me to try some stuff I never did before C for cat good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well thank you for the raid Veldak good to see you again also how's your stream today what are you playing in Factorio at the moment actually uh, did the guide respawn? It he did not. Two minutes till the guide can respawn. Actually, I didn't bring. Um... I think I've actually run out now that I think of it of uh... guide voodoo dolls. Best place to get those is at the Demon City. Nullius? It's a long one? Okay. Nullius. So we are looking for a somewhat rare enemy spawn. Um... It's the Voodoo Demon. I'll take this, though. Is Variety Day moving to Mondays? Uh, I posted a new schedule. I'm doing two days of everything. Uh, Monday, Tuesday is going to be Terraria. Uh, Thursday, Friday is going to be Oxygen Not Included. And weekends are going to be Factorio. Can I go up this way? At least for now. I don't know how long uh, I'll play each game, obviously. Oni, cool. Fantastic. Who would have thought Factorio players would enjoy some Oni? Oh, was that a demon? No. Maybe I should go for Battle Potion. I 
could also put down a water candle to really maximize the spawn rate. Uh, is it in the safe? Yes, it is. And safe go here. There's a demon. Oh, wow. Even at that range, more than 50% damage from the Onyx Blaster. Not bad. And we got a Magma Stone. Fantastic, indeed. Looking forward to Oni. I've been wanting to play it myself, but never got around to doing so. Yeah, I've never got around to busting through the mid-game, where everything is getting hot and I haven't figured out um, what was it? Steam turbines in that game? I guess we're near granite. Um, I should probably move this water candle thing. I don't want it spawning... I don't want it spawning granite things, because that's just going to slow us down finding what we're actually looking for. Let's put this stuff away. Ouch. And we'll take our water candles somewhere else. Maybe just down the middle would be good. No, we, we want to fish there sometimes. Uh, I don't really want to fight you. Okay, there we go. I don't want a spot where half the spawns are going to be stuck on the other side either. Demon scythe. Oh, right. That thing. This looks like a good spot. Enough of a structure to get in the way, but not enough to get in my way. Also, let's grab that for the man type. So we're looking for one of these guys, but holding a voodoo doll below them. I was planning to play Oni again, yet got distracted by Captain of Industry. Well, what can you do? Hellbat Banner, yes please. Let's absolutely put banners down at our water candle spot. I don't think I've ever seen a demon statue to spawn these things, right? Oh, I got confused. Oh no. Oh, the confusion. And then it's going to last just long enough that when you think you have a handle on it, it swaps. Demon banner. Perfect. There's what we're looking for. Have to be really careful about when we kill him though. So we don't drop the voodoo doll in the lava prematurely. Is the guide back? The guide is not back. It's 9.07am. The guide will be back soon. Alright, let's head over to the left again. get ready to kill the wall of flesh once more. Hopefully this time it drops the ranger emblem. We've got the warrior emblem, uh, two mage emblems, 
And I think that's it. For emblems, that is. I want to kill this thing for the cursed flames. Uh, yes, we got it. Fantastic. Oh, sneaky. I think I just killed it in the wrong spot. Into the lava we go. Fantastic. Oh, that's even more adamantite. I think we have enough adamantite forever. Possibly. You know what? I'm sick of not digging through this. We're going to prevent the wall of flesh from getting this far, so it's not like... It's not like we're cutting through there to build an arena or something. So I'm looking for ranger, uh, ranger emblem, so we have another 15% damage. Um, once we have that, I want to kill the queen slime. And once we kill the queen slime a few times, uh, we're switching to crystal assassin armor which is good for both ranged and magic. Uh, and it also gives us a dash without using up an accessory slot. Unfortunate that we will be saying goodbye to Frost Armor relatively quickly if this works out. How far are we? We can definitely kill... Uh, ow, 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 ow. Uh, I was going to say, we can definitely kill the Wall of Flesh with this much space. With this gear. Oh, the laser hit me on the other side and knocked me backwards. That's weird. Yeah, this isn't even a fight. Oh, we're running out of space. There we go. This time, actually I'm out of room, kind of. Summoner emblem. And we also got firecracker. Blazing energy explodes from enemies hit by summons. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, we've got every emblem except for the one we're looking for now which is less cool all right let's head back i suppose
Gotta wait till the guide respawns before we can do that again. Merchant is still there? Thank you. Good point. Uh, where is the merchant? At the dome. And why is he half dead? DPS meter, we've got spares already. Lifeform analyzer. I just realized we do already have that. Because we've got the REK that we used to show us that the ice golem was on the map. Jungle surface. Where did the bait go? Uh, I think it got stacked away somewhere. Well, that's a mystery for another day. Guide has arrived. There's our dirt fish. Back to the ocean. Didn't get anything too exciting. Guide goes here. Fantastic. Well, we're gonna kill him anyway, but... In firecracker. Quick stack time. Don't need a wall of flesh mask. Sorcerer emblem can go here. Sell the oh, don't sell that. Uh, we could upgrade it the laser rifle. How much does it cost to re-roll this thing? Very little. Mystic. That's a good start. Probably shouldn't be spending this much on the laser rifle. Yeah, I'll settle for Mystic. In fact, I'll sell this one. Let's put the cursed bullets away for now. And this thing combines with Band of Regen, I believe. Nope. Uh, Magma Skull. Melee attacks inflict fire damage. I think Fire Gauntlet, if anything, is what I would use this for. And stack. Pretty much never used Demon Scythe. We're just going to sell him. Run it. We can get whenever we want. There's our Genieman bait. And we don't need another goat skull. Okay. Uh, so, back to... Where did I put that water candle? Way over here. Okay. Take the crystal shard. Normally I have a million of those, but I just haven't gotten around to them. Oh, you are tough.
probably should move the water candle closer to the middle. Or just put one down over here. Ish. I'm just going to dig through this. Alright, so... Safe. Water candle. Go here. I don't think I have anything that goes through walls right now. Oh wait, there's a demon... There's a couple of banners over there where the other water candle is. Yeah, let's pick this up for now. I have to remember to move this. This is actually a really good spot though. I guess it's worth like... 30 seconds or so of travel. Uh, battle potion time? Why not? Is this some bones and flesh? That's a demon. Lol. Six bites from the spider. With a banner, that is. That's our demon that we're looking for. Get over here. Do not drop that. There we go. Um, why don't we just go to the right this time? Ow. Invisible enemy. Uh, how do I get through here? There we go. Alright, I don't want to underestimate how long it takes to kill the wall of flesh like I almost did last time. So we'll run a bit further to the right than I think I need to. Just a little more. Alright, this will probably do. How many arrows do we have left? More than half. For the cursed arrows.
ranger emblem. Uh-oh. Okay. And ranger emblem? Yes, and another laser rifle. It's fine. I'm sure the uh, Clockwork Assault Rifle would not be as powerful as our Adamantite Repeater, even if it were unreal. Alright, so let's put this away. Mage damage. We're going to re-roll the Risk Ranger Emblem. Wait, the spider just gave up on the Wraith. I've never seen that before. I think it was because it went over a tire. Don't care about this. Goat all. Goat skull. This thing. Keep the water candle. Arrows, etc. Alright. Goblin time. Oh, it's quite cheap to re-roll. Let's go for damage. Oh, I missed it. No. There we go. Plus 19% damage. And why not this one as well? Warding? We've got so much warding. Let's see. Damage, 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 damage. Okay, that was no longer true. That's actually fine. Alright, I think we are ready to fight Queen Slime. Hopefully with much more success. Uh, let's get our occasional buff potions out. Gravitation potion. Uh, I'm not going to waste magic potions this time. Heart reach makes a lot of sense when small enemies exist. Uh, archery potion, definitely. 20% more damage since we're actually using a bow. Farming potion to reduce the uh, extra spawns. Don't think knockback matters. Inferno's not going to matter this time. Invisibility. It's kind of the same thing as calming. Whatever. Anything that might help. Uh, we can do an extra summon. That's not going to do anything if we're using spiders against a boss. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's about it. Alright, let's get more cursed arrows. Make sure there's no chance of running out of those. Would you stop? There we go. Cursed arrow. And cursed arrow. And furthermore, cursed arrow. I think we're ready. Uh, I'm running out of iron skin. Let's fix that. And regen. Uh, these two are doing just fine. Shine potions. Night owl. And... 
We're good. Can I do any more hunter potions? Yes. Oh, wait. I can do lots of hunter potions. Why not? Just ran out of something, though. Probably Daybloom. I still haven't set up a proper Daybloom farm again. Uh, what did I just stack? I think it's probably fine, whatever it is. Alright. Let's head over to the Hello Desert again. I'm pretty sure I can fight Queen Slime whenever I want. Maybe it's only at night. Alright, here we go. Ow. That damage is looking much better. Need to know where it is. Grab potions. Make this part easy. It's a lot harder to aim than most ranged weapons. But it's not like the arrows are particularly expensive. Oh, that was rude. Oh, I just keep not leading it enough. Where's the queen? There you are. And this is the part where it gets interesting. Don't run into the Sky Island. Whoops, 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 and furthermore, whoops. We're winning. Yeah, we're winning. Just don't mess it up. <laughs> that sound, though. Alright, one queen slime down. We've still got buffs, we should probably do it again. What did we get? We got the boots, and we got hook of dissonance. Um, did we have no room for something else? Oh, there's our mount. Wait, what? Oh, we got the boots and the shirt. So as soon as we get the, um, as soon as we get the hood, we're done. Can I make room for some more stuff? We can get better healing potions now. Using that. Uh, I think this is an improved hook. Oh, no, wait. That's kind of awkward. I should make a diamond hook. Could have done that ages ago. Alright, back to spawn. I think, I hope we have one more. We do not. We don't have a spawner for it. 
Okay. I'm gonna put the crystal assassin stuff here. And I'll just put this here for now. Definitely should have thought... And I definitely should have realized it would be good to have more than one set of... More than one spawner for the Queen Slime. Let's start from the top, actually. I was muted, wasn't I? Um, but yeah, I've got uh, one more gelatin crystal and just a little bit of time left on our buffs. I guess I'm going to end up refreshing them anyway. That's just rude. could have dodged that. Oh god. Okay, don't throw, don't throw. We've got time. Just keep distance for now.
Uh, don't go to space. We can't fall fast if we go to space. Don't go to space, I said. Do not go to space. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. Just a few more hits. Don't run into that. What am I doing? Alright. Back up we go. And... We're so close. We're so close. Okay. That was a little stressful. I'm ready to be attacked by a wyvern right now. But it doesn't seem to be happening. And what do we get this time? There's our hood. And there is our mount. Exactly the same as what we already had, but now it has wings. Very cool. Oh, and I think it can go... Um, I think the Queen Slime mount can go fast left and right as well. Very, very cool. Uh, so that leads me to the very ambitious notion that we just might be able to kill Duke Fisher on with Crystal Assassin gear. Unicorns need, used to exist. Wait, what? We miss, did we miss a merchant or...? Alright, let's sell this stuff. Oh, and we've got... Yeah, we've got dash even... It seems faster. We've got a dash without the Shield of Cthulhu now. 5% increased crit strike chance. Reduced mana usage 10%. Ability to dash. Reduced ammo usage 10%, 5% increased damage, 10% uh, increased damage and crit chance for the set bonus, 10% increased melee speed, 20% increased movement speed. Very cool. And you can already feel it. Um, I was going to comment on it before I read that, but you can definitely feel the difference. I might hold on to the warding shield. It's possible we'll come back to that. Alright, time to... fix up our inventory. Only took two kills to get the full set. That's very lucky. Regal delicacy. Adorable. Where's our merchant? Don't want this. Stacky stack. Load this up. Stacky stack. I don't see myself using um, volatile gelatin. Wait, what did I just swap that for? Oh, we took away the shield. Yeah, no, that was an that's an empty accessory slot. Um, can I get more damages if I'm doing ranged? I need all three mechanical bosses to stack an Avenger emblem with it. Uh, I guess 
unless I find something more tempting, we're going for Obsidian Shield. Gives us some defense and knockback immunity. Uh, warding is fine, I suppose. I think damage would probably be better. 50 defense at this stage is actually pretty good. Let's sell these. And let's go get that rainbow gun. Wait, where is the hallowed chest? I should probably know before I go in. Corruption chest? Ice chest? Desert chest. Did I not find the hallowed chest yet? Hallowed chest. Okay. So... Straight down and... All the way down here. Thank you, spider. Oh, mimic. So I gotta get used to the idea that I can't dash into things to avoid damage now. Cross necklace, that's probably what I will use instead of the obsidian shield. Um, so that didn't last long. <laughs> too distracting. Alright, so it's down this way, I believe. Yes. Through here. Good spider. That's our... Oh, that's the desert chest. Hallowed is over there, I think. Or was it... Yeah. On the plus side... We can dash through enemies. That in itself has an advantage. It, it, it's a side grade, the dashes. And hallowed key? Wait, what? Oh, I forgot. I always forget about this. You have to kill Planchera first. Alright, well, fortunately we picked up a chest. I'm just going to put it in here. And we don't have to hold on it. On, hold on to it all this time. Uh, what can we combine the cross necklace with? Nothing but Star Cloak. We need to find another one. How much does it cost to reforge this? as is. Quite cheap. Warding? Sure. Um, I think at this stage the Stinger Necklace is probably... probably not as valuable as the obsidian shield. So there's that. 
We've got spare aqua scepters. Unicorn horn goes in potion ingredients. Uh, we don't need an extra stack of glowing mushrooms. Jester's arrow can go over here. So I think we're about as prepared as I imagined where that might be the minimum to beat Duke Fisher on. Might be. I wouldn't mind killing the destroyer first to get the mega shark. Um I don't think it would be that much more damage than the adamantite repeater. Let's go get some truffle worms. That's the f that, we're going to have to do that regardless. And put those arrows behind the endless quiver for now. So we can spam these. with Reckless Abandon, if we so desire. Oh right, we don't have Frost Armor anymore. Derp. Maybe I don't want to Spam out regular arrows then. I need something different for slot one. Oh yeah, I just realized. Uh, guide to Critter Companionship. We don't have to worry about killing the truffle worms. We do, of course, still have to find the truffle worms. I think one died over there. Oops. And there's our prize. Fantastic. Uh, let's not die this way. Don't feel like wasting his good. Oh! What was that? Oh, it was one of these tiny friggin' fungal spores that, out of the corner of your eye, look less threatening than a bat. And it did hundreds of damage. Okay. Well, we got our truffle worm anyway. If we only want to try fighting the cheek once. Uh, I feel like it might not go very well. But I'd like to get a feel for just how close or not we are to being able to do this. Grav potions... Uh, where are the rest of our grav potions? Wait, what? Oh, they're right here. Derp. Traveling merchant has arrived. Oh, media landed here. What have we got? Uh, I've already got these. Anti-portal block? Amazing. I believe you can actually farm infinite 
meteorite if you're ridiculously patient. Um, they occasionally drop from the media heads. Uh, there's no reason to do that. Uh, let's see, I think we have one more Inferno Potion. Good. That'll stop the bubbles. Heart Reach? I don't know if there's any... There's a couple of things that'll die that Heart Reach might just help with. Um, flip a potion on the off chance we go into the water. I think we just don't go into the water. Yeah, I have gone into the water before with the flip a potion against Duke and it doesn't really help. It's not a good place to go. Okay. I think we should get rid of the spiders. Wait, we don't have any. Oh, because I died. Right. And let's go for imps. Toxicarp would actually be really good. Like, really, really good. It's it's on par with Mega Shark for damage. And much, much better at, like, blocking enemy shots. take a short break, do some words on stream, and after that I'm going to do a little fishing, hope to get the toxic carp again. Uh, but first... Let's fire this thing up. Good. Seems like it. Alright, so in about 30 seconds we're going to start some words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, good luck, have fun.
smashing it. I might leave words on stream running while I do a little fishing. We're in the long haul for uh, Toxicarp right now. So it might take another eight minute set or two. Um, let's see if we can get it. Oh, and I'll just manually... No, nope, never mind. Level 3, go. Satic, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was muted. Ninoku, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this is definitely... I think this is about as long as I've ever spent not fishing up the... Uh, Toxicarp. One job. <laughs> Indeed. Um, but yeah, it's... 
The other thing we can try to do is get an Uzi, which is just as time consuming, if not if not way more so. Uh, it's a very rare drop from Angry Trappers, the giant plant vine things in the underground jungle. And it's kind of a side grade to the Mega Shark, but you can get it before fighting any bosses. Um, that's the kind of thing we need. Well, it's a bit inaccurate, really. I think the Toxicarp is actually ideal. It's about the same DPS as the Mega Shark, but it's very, very, very good at blocking projectiles and bats and things. I could always just try killing Fisher on and see how it goes. Overshot by two? Hold on, what did I just get? Uh, nothing too special. I haven't had a goblin invasion yet, either. I could go for the shadow flame knife. That might be easier to get. We do get rain... I think we get, um... No, it's ranged in magic for our armor set. I was confusing it with, uh... the frost armor for a second there. Oh, are you guys dead? No, it's doing the thing. Sometimes on the browser it looks like you've got no time left. And then I look at the stream preview and you've got like 25% to go. And one more. There you go. I don't think we're getting our Toxic Harp today. Alright, as soon as these potions run out, we'll get on with it. You can have another words on stream. Might stop after that one. At least for now. Surely it's not like you can only fish up Toxic Harp on the surface or something. Let me have a look. Toxic Harp. Fishing in the corruption at any depth. Okay. What are the odds? Uh, doesn't say anything about the odds. Of fishing it up. But it is pretty rare. Okay. Oh, that's kind of good. 
Um, because I'm using the crystal armor for the dash, if I try to dash with fishing gear on, it doesn't work, and it reminds me that I am, in fact, wearing fishing gear. Good to go. Fantastic. Alright, let's get our gear back on. And swap this out as well. Um, I never bother stacking these flowing snails. They're pretty rare and crap. Uh, it's raining. We could do the ice stuff again. There's no need. I would like to farm my water leaf over here, but gotta go through the corruption for it. Alright, we're gonna need a whole lot more first arrows, just in case. First bullets also, why not? First I need to buy some more arrows. Continue? Alright. One more. While I prep. Cursed arrow, go. That is probably way more than enough cursed arrows. I should certainly hope so anyway. Um, I have no room in my inventory. Sort that out later. Then again, why don't I just put all of these in here and then we can pick those up. Shadow Orb. Doesn't wasn't worth the walk to sell it. All right, now we have all of the cursed arrows. Game over. Rip. Better luck next time. We got another Abigail's flower. Back that away. Alright, so we are heading... Oh, it's quite late. Uh, it's fine. We are heading over to upset Duke Fisher on. Actually, let's get these buffs as well. And the way we do that is with Truffle Worm as bait. Uh, what? Ha oh, bait is in the wrong spot. O okay. And I just wasted my buffs a bit. Alright. Let's 
so far so decent. Need to make sure I don't leave the ocean. We can avoid a lot of Fisheron's nonsense by falling through the sky all the time. Um, really not liking how I can't get through... Oh god. Oh, 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 I see what... I, I, I see what you're trying to tell me. Luckily, I can pause the game by alt-tabbing it. Words overlay is on. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Alright, so it looks like we can definitely get through the early phase pretty easily. Oh, 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 oh. Really bad luck with where those tornadoes were. Now we have to hope. Uh... Now we have to hope we find enough time to heal. I need to pay more attention to the map as well. Homing bullets would be very, very helpful, but those are not available yet. Pretty sure. Alright, we're back to full health. Although, it's sort of not full health yet, because we've still got the cooldown before we can heal again. The minion is doing almost nothing. Almost hit that tornado. Let's fall faster. only lasts for three minutes. Gotta watch out for that. Kind of gave away a free hit there as well. The hard part hasn't begun yet. DPS leaves something to be des- oh god I went too high. 30 seconds before I can heal. I think I just threw... I think I just threw this one. Gotta try and stay further away for a bit because of that. 18 seconds... Yeah, I couldn't. With the weird angle of those sharks at the last second, by the time I realized how to get out of the way of it, it was too late. Now we can see T-Hacks die from right side. That wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, at least that far in. Also, I sh definitely shouldn't waste summoning potions on this. Um, I think it's... I can't say if it's doable until I get to the final phase. I think it is. Although I think it's because of the lack of damage. It's going to be really hard to get through the final phase. Um, we need to go get another truffle worm. So that we can summon the duke again. I actually don't want to waste my ammo on these things. The 
Did I just get a mechanical eye? Yes, I did. So we have uh, everything we need to summon any of the mechanical bosses. Um, actually, before I try again, let's go for the Shadow Flame Knife. So we're going to summon the Hard Mode Goblin Army. Oh. Or pirates could be approaching from the east. Um, I don't think there's any chance we get something helpful for fighting Fisher on from these guys, but they're kind of fun anyway. I don't think we need to waste these buffs on them. I hope. Grav Potion is kind of a maybe. The main thing with the pirates is not to let them shoot. Don't really have really good AoE or anything. Hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the ones that have guns or bows, you don't want to let them fire. If you just give them scratch damage frequently enough, they won't be able to. going to be easier said than done. Hmm. Uh, this is not looking good already. Maybe I should be using Flame Lash with its AoE damage. Oh, where am I? Oh no, I don't have, uh, what is it? F? G? G. G is the key. I, I, I don't usually use a manual key to drink my mana potions. Yeah, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do this, I should probably have the, um... Okay, I need to retreat a little bit here. Grab. Oh god, they're in here, they're in here. Nope, nope. What a shot! It's like he pre-shot it where I was gonna jump. I just want to get into this chest so I can grab one of the mana, uh, auto mana consuming uh, thingamies. But that's gonna be a problem. Uh, they do not want to give me the opportunity. Okay, fine. We're doing it more cheesy. Can I lure them away and find the time to pick up that item? Oh wow. That's too much, man. Would you be persuaded to stop? Alright, close this. Oh my goodness. I don't have the DPS for this. I, I just can't stop them from firing because they're acting as human shields for each other. And I just want to get to this one chest over here, that's all I want. Oh, come on. Why don't I go inside here? Wait just a minute.
And maybe they won't be right on top of me? Okay, never mind. Cool. Normally, as soon as enemies are off screen, they like to despawn, but this is an exception, apparently. Alright, give, give me this stupid item already. Why can't I, where, where is, where, where did my mirror go? Why would my mirror not be in the same slot after that? Yeah, I seriously have no idea where my magic mirror is now. And I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be in my inventory. Well. This one. Now we can go a bit here. And we should probably waste a whole bunch of potions again. I'm actually really concerned about where the magic mirror went. I don't think I have a spare. I think I sold any extra mirrors that I found, because I've already got one. They take so much damage. You know what would be good right now? Explosive bullets, but I don't have time to buy them. Unless... Uh, explosive arrows would be... Uh, okay, fine. I'll do it the hard way. We can just straight up buy explosive arrows from the demolitionist. Easy enough. Alright. I have no way to teleport back. Uh, I could waste a potion of return. That feels bad. Is there no... I really don't know what happened to the magic mirror. Alright, fine, we're wasting one of these. Seriously, take nine or ten um, arrows to the face, and that's the that's like the basic enemies. Yeah, that's a bit more effective. They're still body blocking and shooting through each other. Well, this is kind of cheesy. get home now.
Uh, I guess... I can't use... I can't use the pylon network to go from here to... Those are pirates. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Seems like we've not got as many of them to deal with here, though. We can definitely control the situation a lot better, it looks like. If I stay above them, they can't body block hitting the ranged ones. I think this is the strategy. They don't lead the target. So all we have to do is keep doing an arc over them, hitting the ranged ones so they stop firing. This is going to cost an awful lot of arrows. Might actually have to buy more, even though I bought two stacks already. Did he just shoot a cannonball at me? That's all kinds of rude. Yeah, he shot a cannonball at me. And now the ghost of pirating past is after us. I can't really focus on it because I have to hit the one or two ranged enemies that do way too much damage. Mm, it's not that strong. Ah! I, I need to avoid playing too high, otherwise they'll get cheesy spawns as soon as as soon as the land goes off screen. Which makes this a lot more awkward. What the? Wait, what? What even hit me? A bullet? How? Okay. At least it cleared the screen. Can we avoid the pirates if we're undergeared? Is that even possible? Uh-oh. I don't think I'm going to be killing any Flying Dutchmen. Um, I can't take my eyes or my weapon off of the ranged infantry. And it takes a lot um, to kill the Flying Dutchman. Yeah, it's got a lot of hit points. Then again, uh, with explosive arrows we can hit two or three of those at the same time. Seems to be taking too long though.
that for some BS. What? Okay, you just spawned on top of me. Okay, cool. Fantastic. As soon as I'm like two tiles above being able to see the sand, they can spawn pretty much wherever they want. So it's impossible to stay at a safe distance. I should stay out at the ocean. That might be better. Describe a bigger arc. They also can't shoot their bows at me properly. even see the projectiles I need to dodge. Jeez. I like how the Flying Dutchman is flying into the water. Pirate Invasion is an event that started unprompted. I didn't do anything to make this happen or unlock it. I'm pretty sure it just happens in hard mode. Uh, we already have... We've already like upgraded our armor four times in hard mode. And the gear that we have is just like key shooters against them. Hell, Duke Fisheron was easier so far. His final phase, not so much, I would think. Yeah, Duke Fisheron doesn't just suddenly appear behind you. He actually has rules that he has to follow. Ninety-eight percent. Can we go home now? Quite finished. I've almost gone through two stacks of explosive arrows as well. Like 1.7. Is this thing not gonna leave? It's not gonna leave. Alright. I'm gonna run out of explosive arrows. Let's try fireballs, I guess. Laser would be good if we can line up all of these. Down. 
Look at how little damage they take. I know it's the laser rifle, but still. We are going to get one Flying Dutchman. Seems like Cursed Bullets... No, against the group it wasn't going to be that effective. Because the main problem is we can't hit the ones at the back that are shooting. was kind of obnoxious. Let's clean up the mess. I think I saw a graveyard biome was starting to form back at spawn. Can we even get back there? No. And I don't know where my magic mirror is. That's actually a problem. What pylon can I teleport to? The clip? Unless I go up from below, which... no. The closest one is actually... The jungle. I think. It's flatter this way, anyway. So I have to just go back to spawn manually and hope that the magic mirror still exists. That it didn't somehow get deleted because it was in my hand when I died or something. see where the corruption has reached. Uh, and here it is. Okay, so we're about to find out. I think this is going to stop the corruption, but maybe it can tunnel under it. I need some stronger spells as well. We just don't have enough damage right now. Even though we took the damage set. Would you stop? It's actually pretty effective. back. Okay. Magic mirror. I don't know where else it would be other than on this floor. Doesn't seem to be here. It's not in the piggy bank or the safe. It's not in the void bag. Oh, here, here it is. I, th I think it was when I was desperately trying to pick up the mana flower. 
Also, I just realized the mana flower isn't what we were looking for before. It was actually way down here. Uh, the armored magnet flower and or the warding mana cloak. Hard to say which is better. It really is. I could use both. And that actually makes it like 18% reduced mana cost, I think. Let's see. What's our most expensive spell? 19 mana. Let's take off the helmet as well. Um, 22 mana. 19 mana. 18 mana. 16 mana. So it does stack all the way down. Feels a bit weird wearing Ranger Emblem. If I kill all mechanical bosses, I can get a emblem that's class agnostic. Yeah, I don't think I want to wear two of these right now. Okay. Um, I need somewhere to put all the gaudy pirate stuff. Did they give us a gold chest? Nope. I don't feel I've earned this flying Dutchman relic. I'm gonna sell that. Although I didn't actually die to the flying Dutchman even once. But it never comes by itself anyway. Shopkeep's gone as well. Uh, I actually have no one to sell it to right now. I can't use the forest pylon because there's only one NPC here. Stack this away. I guess I'll put this here for now. I don't think this makes enough of a difference compared to other compared to the opportunity cost. All right, I guess I'll leave this full of junk for the moment. Time. Uh, what was I about to do? Well, we wait for the shopkeeps and so on to come back. Uh, I need to refresh my ammo. Die Trader is here. Fantastic. Probably make sure I always have a stack of these ready to be collected. Oh yeah, I was gonna maybe. Well, I can I can prepare regardless um, to be able to summon Duke Fisher on. I'd really like to beat him before a mechanical boss, um, but that is absolutely hard mode, to be clear. That's, that's kind of a self-imposed challenge.
Should probably stop wasting the good stuff. What the? Oh my goodness. I didn't see it there at first and then... Before I even figured out what had happened, it was charging at me again. Let's not die this way as well. The pirate has arrived. I don't feel I've earned it. But I, I apart from pulling out serious cheese, like, you know, having the pirates walk on lava or something like that, um, I'm not sure what exactly I'm supposed to do at this level of equipment against them. Maybe I should compare DPS with the uh, Frost Armor set, because this feels a bit underwhelming, to be honest. Oh, that's bad. Is that what I think it is? No. Ah, jeez. Wasn't ready for that. I was looking away. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Nope. Nope. Get out of the way, please. Holy crap. Can we have one thing just go normally for a second? Uh, if I go back through the portal, is the Mimic still there? Probably. I should have... Uh, I should definitely have forced the Goblin Invasion. I just didn't get around to it. It's pretty much, if I recall correctly, it's basically almost the exact same difficulty, but sometimes you get sorcerers. And the sorcerers are not that hard to deal with, and they like to drop Shadow Flame Knife sometimes. Here we go, Tattered Cloth. I think we need a Sawmill. Probably need something else as well. Where's the guide? Tattered cloth. Uh, loom. Wood, tattered cloth, and loom. Okay. Let's find out... If my memory or estimate of how dangerous the goblin army is isn't wildly inaccurate. I think we can use all these pots. You guys should probably get inside. I guess that's not happening. We've been having really, really bad luck with the... Uh... Oh, that's the pirate. Wait, where's the pirate pirate residing? 
in the merchant's place. Merchant is probably going to be upset. If there's anywhere for him to move in. Okay. Um, I'll keep the graves here, I guess. Oh, and there's our sorcerer. Immediately. Yeah, the rest are actually just the pre-hard mode uh, goblins. So it's pretty much like a one-on-one. -on -one. We don't see an icon on it on the map to tell us where the sorcerer is. Hard to hit. I definitely should have triggered this as soon as possible in hard mode. We just went from getting destroyed by the pirate invasion to this feeling like bullying. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not fair, is it? Shadow Flame Extol. That's pretty much terrible. I guess the damage might be enough to justify it at this point. Nope. I know we got annoying, um, but even so. It's a pretty terrible weapon. Look at that knockback. Or knock to the side, I guess. They get scraped by the shotgun with cursed bullets and they just die from the damage over time. Ow. That didn't even hurt. Okay, never mind. take a lot of damage for something that's so relatively weak. The, uh, goblin sorcerers. This is just brutal. It's already been defeated. We got the Shadow Flame Knife. Fantastic. So this little beauty, it's a, it's a melee weapon, so it doesn't cost any mana or ammo or anything. And uh, this, this is allegedly melee. Forty-nine melee damage. It also inflicts. 
a damage over time called Shadow Flame. So that's separate from our Cursed Flames and if we're using the um, Frost Armor, which I think I might. How much defense do we have? 47? If I swap out this... We go up to 54. We actually lose a significant amount of speed. Feels really sluggish accelerating now. Um, but also we need the Shield of Cthulhu if we're going to dash with this. Uh, but yeah, this is inflicting two dots at the same time. Um, if we're not going to use... We could keep the Ranger Emblem... No, if we're going to use the Shadow Flame Knife against Duke, we should definitely use the Warrior Emblem. Alright, let's sell this thing. Oh, everyone died again? Okay. Let's put the crystal armor away for a sec. And this as well. I think we have a warrior emblem here, somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Can I perhaps get the seed for this world? Uh, sure. How do I do that? Do I need to go to the main menu first? I want to make sure I didn't leave anything on the ground before I do that. <laughs> All right, let's reforge. Oh, I can't yet. Um, what time is it? 11. It might be quickest if I manually go over there. No, oh, wait, I can go to the ocean. If you go the world selection, there's a little seed for each world. Yeah, so I will have to save quit first. Um, let me just wrap up a few things real quick. Reforge, Shadow Flame. This thing only costs 2.6 gold to reforge. Seriously. This is probably the most powerful and most accessible early game, uh, early hard mode, um, weapon. Can we not get legendary with this? Should I stick with demonic? Yeah, because it's not going to get like plus size, right? So I don't think it can get legendary. This is probably about as good as it gets. Godly is best. Uh, that would be plus fifteen percent damage, plus five crit, and plus knockback. Right? I don't care too much about the knockback from this thing. Yeah, so this is perfect, really. Alright, we'll make sure we tidy up all of this mess, and it'll be a whole other chore to 
So, ow, 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 ow. Sort that out. Oh, that's right, I was going to reforge the warrior emblem. Well, we can do the save exit now. I'm pretty sure there's nothing important lying on the ground. Uh, let's see. How do I... Copy seed. Can I just put it in the chat? There it is. That's the seed. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. No worries. Hated Hollow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Was I going? Oh yeah, reforge. Um, damage or defense. Menacing? Sure. That's cool. We've got plus 19% damage on both of these. It feels a bit of a waste to use two slots for either type of damage, though. If I'm going to fight the Duke, I'm probably just going to spam the one thing. So... Something like that would make more sense. I was muted. Yeah, we're about to try not the most serious attempt against Fisheron, but I want to see how good the Shadow Flame Knife is against the, the Duke. So what do we got? Grab Potion. I don't really care about the Archery Potion. Uh, anything else? Inferno would be good. I think we've run out of those. Let's just give this a try. Buff station.
It is nice not stressing whatsoever about missing shots with the bow. Decent amount of damage already, actually. It also, the way the knives bounce off him, it's got a chance of hitting something else that's a threat right after that. Most of the bubbles get removed just instantly. Oh, holy crap. What the? How? How did it hit me? Did I enrage it? Did I leave the ocean? Okay, is it coming down now? Alright. Lesson learned. Uh oh. What did it just do? Oh, uh, that was really unlucky. Uh, that was really shit timing. The tornado. Okay. Even though I even though he landed on the bottom of my slime mount, he still did damage to me. This seems doable. I gotta keep him a bit closer and take a bit longer on the lap going up and down so that I don't run into the uh, tornado on the way back down. Something bad's about to happen. run out. This is actually looking pretty promising. Oh, that was close. Kind of awkward. That did not prevent damage. Okay, that's just cheesy. Uh, the Sharknadoes appear somewhere off screen and then surprise run into you at a weird angle. But that was kind of getting close. Didn't get to the hard part yet though. Once you kill the mechs, the... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's doable with the Shadow Flame Knife and the gear we've got. It's a little bit slow. But not that slow. I might keep trying it. But for today, that'll do it. Let's see who is streaming Terraria, I guess. Solo Master Calamity? Seems good. 
I think I'll play Calamity after this playthrough. Alright, I'll give this person a go. Have a good one. You too. Thanks for hanging out. Hate it hollow. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, if you're into the Factorio, check out the Discord blueprints if you have any questions about it, by all means. But for now, uh, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Take care. See you later, Zivoxifol. As I say focus, noises happen. Oh, oh, we, we, we're, we're in our ease. Okay. Um, hello, thank you for the host. I will, um,